this, see? It's not very smooth. But then the other one's not very smooth. Now we are. Now we're live. Okay. I could make, like, a transition, like, graphic that, like... How does it work, though? Well, I, I would have it, like, on mine, it was, like, a little burst of static with, like, a logo Our, or something. But then how does it how does it self-fade into the other one? Like, you see, it goes like this. Like, watch. Yeah. It goes... See? Mm -hmm. It goes... Like this. You can do that. Or it just transitions. I would have to make a transparent video with its own built-in fade. Hmm. Which would probably look... Bad. I don't know. Probably man. would look bad. OBS is confusing. <laughs> well, buddy, I'm so excited. That's the show. That's the there show. It is. Talking about transitions on OBS. Almost Halloween, Dick. Yeah. Are you spooked? <laughs> Are you spooked? That word has really been ruined. Are for you me. having a spooky uh, evening? Spooky, spooky. You time. ready to go trick or treating? I did screw up. I didn't put up the promo video for the biggest problem in Halloween, which we uh, did. Oh, yeah. I'm going to yeah. put that up so people can uh, okay. get a little taste. Okay. Get okay. A little taste. Am I popping? Am I good? I don't know. How Test do you sound one, to one, you? Two. Test one, one, two. I sound okay. You sound okay? All right. Should we start the show? It's been a fun week. Has it? It's been a fun week. What's been fun about it? Well, I went on kick or keep. Yeah, you did great. I did. Do I won, Dick. I know. I won five. I was really bucks. excited for you. Yeah. When I saw it. <laughs> well, you had fun. It was fun, right? Yeah, you really laid into those people. Yeah, because they're you all You were so aggressive and it was great radio. Yeah. <laughs> and there was no ads on it. <laughs> so I watched the whole thing. As the uh, you don't like ads on videos? No, I would just skip. If someone ran an ad on a video, I'd just close it yeah, and not you. watch it. I hear you. Especially for a couple bucks. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes when you're watching content on the internet, like ads will show up here. Or fuck there. them, right? <laughs> you want them? If, fuck them. I want the money. It's just their time, right? <laughs> I mean, people run ads on their content. I run ads on my videos. Nobody complains about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a good point. Well. So what's the issue with putting ads on a video? Um, I, uh, I hate ads. Yeah, but that's you the issue. understand that in the marketplace, there have to be ads. Maybe if you're getting, like, maybe you're making all your money on ads, then I could understand no, it. No, but you can make some, it's, it's, there's different pockets that you need. Like a hundred bucks? That's well, not worth it. <laughs> Why would you alienate so many... What viewers for like a hundred dollars? I would that doesn't think make that, that a viewer is willing to sit through an ad to get two hours of free content, basically. <laughs> yeah. Dick doesn't want me to put ads on the biggest problem <laughs> videos in case you guys haven't figured that out. <laughs> that. <laughs> I think. Mean, <laughs> start, start, start the show. Start, or not? start the show. Welcome to the most uh, ad-free uh, podcast. No, no, put ads on it. Well, apparently what I can't. Biggest problem. Universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from doxing hysteria to wasted parking area. Not bad. How do you like that? I forgot to write down who uh, who sent that one in. Well, then I thought it was Dick Masterson. Joining me as always is Vito Just Walton. Hi, Dick. What's up, buddy? How you been? Great. Collecting ad revenue and feeling great. <laughs> Writing your comic? When's that scheduled to come out? Are you really doing this? <laughs> uh, we got we we got the comic. It's moving. I'm talking. Yeah. I'm talking to the artist. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We the we royal do. we. Uh huh. We're gonna do that every episode. <laughs> Ask for a check in. I just want to know where. I just want to know if it's if things are moving. That's all. Things are moving. Yeah. Uh, and I have a. We have a completed or nearly completed. Uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Storyboard okay. situation. Okay. You run that shit through an AI. Yeah. That's what you need. Basically, I mean, the pages have been getting drawn, but also in coinciding with that, we're adding yeah. whatever. The point is I now have a couple people looking at it, reading it, uh -huh. and Dick hates it, and he says it's bad. <sighs> well. <laughs> wow, I thought you were going to correct me. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, no, it's not bad. Instead, you just went, well. I don't like being set up. It's not a. It's just a little bit of. 
What'd you think? You, you've you've read the script already, and then I made. She some- was a. Uh, I can't. Re- she, I can't read a third time. I'm not gonna have anything to offer on a third time through. That's fine. You can't read a script that many times. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I gave my notes. That's just my opinion. How do you? you know. But I'm saying, like, do you feel positively about it? Yeah, it's great. It's better than I saw. It is better than I saw. Although I saw has that retard factor. You know, well, where, it was where it's so kind of so like bad, it's weird. Yeah. yeah, where you're like, I don't even know what's going on. I have no idea how to process any of this. Yeah, yeah. You I, don't want to be in. You want to be great or so bad. Everybody's talking about you forever. I, I honestly, you, you make a good point that if I saw was even more confusing and crazy, like if he just like got bird wings at the end and like started flying yeah. around, I would yeah. been like, wait, is this guy like a secret genius or something? <laughs> But it doesn't it doesn't reach that level of like narrative no. retardation. It's just the normal level of narrative yeah. retardation. So that's what's that's the danger for you. So you I'm gotta not, be great then. You I gotta got, come out on the other side. I think it's pretty solid what we got. It's about the amount of emotion, yeah. you know? Negative or positive. I mean, most of your notes are like it's not like crucial <laughs> shit that's like gonna kill the I love wasting thing. people's time. God damn. It's not <laughs> wasting time. I've I implemented actually I did implement one of your notes and now you say it's worse. One. So uh, Well no. you kinda went all I don't know. I wouldn't say you implemented it though. <laughs> <laughs> I implemented it in I in a new way and then uh-huh. it introduced what you I have identified as you think is a new problem. <laughs> Honestly, the making of the comic is the is the fun part. <laughs> well, you can't recreate that story. Mm. People try to make stories, but they're just trying to make like you know real life yeah. stories happen. They try to make it believable, but the reality is actually happened. The problem of pilots is there's a lot of information to set up, and some of it you're gonna go, well, did that make perfect sense? It's like, well, no, it'll be explained a little later, maybe. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like why does it's like with Isom. Why it's does like, he have what two heads? Are his powers? What are his two, powers? What I would are set his that powers? Up, right. But you find out, my guy. You find out some of his powers, you know. But you, gotta, <laughs> yeah. you can leave some of them as a mystery. Well, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's. I that's said that fine. about Isom as well. The problem with Isom is we don't know any of his powers. any of his powers. So the dis- we still don't. After maybe he's. Two you know books. what? Maybe he's not able to be respected. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> I do know power? that about his character. <laughs> he, like no one can. They're not capable of respecting him. He's and that's his curse. <laughs> He's cursed, He's cursed to be disrespected. Having to handle disrespect. Tony from Hack the Movies, I think, likes the. Or he liked the script when I sent up to him before. I hope he likes the updated version. Uh, okay, tell us about your. Here's, wait, wait, wait. Let me do what the am I problem about? first. Um, oh God, we have a great Eric July video to watch, too. Is there a new one that I missed? <sighs> You're. You what are you watching his channel? And- I've been busy this week. What have you been doing? Working on the fucking comic like crazy. What does working on the comic mean? I'm like, drawing. Just being worried. Uh, did you did you see the storyboard? Like I have to draw every page because and Eric July is not doing that. I, I don't really look at the drawings on comics. Yeah, that's crazy. I just read that's the, the words. Problem. I'm like, yeah, I kind of, like, I get it. <laughs> I asked Dick, I'm like, well, did you like, like, the way it's, like, laid out? And, like, he's like, oh, I don't look at the art. I just read the fucking, the <laughs> words. Ah, like, oh, what's like, the point right. of that? <sighs> I looked at Ethan Van Cyber's art. This yeah, well, cool. his art, my, come on. Like, Damn, that looks awesome. Yeah, I get it. My, um, my I wish the tits were freakishly big in his comics. That's my only... That's my only real complaint. He sent me a whole box of, uh, I should give you, do you want a Cyber Frog toy? Of course. What, ki- what kind of toy? Action figures. Well, which one? I don't know. I haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> okay. He sent, why are you laughing? I figured I'd do you an- You gotta un- tear into that shit right away. No, you gotta unbox it. You gotta do an unboxing like Riley did, although Riley beat me to it. Riley put up his Cyber Frog <laughs> unboxing. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll bring it by the show. <laughs> maybe we can unbox it on the show. Okay. Okay. Um, empty parking lots. Yeah. Big winner. That feel? was me. Yeah, that was you. That was a good problem. Stranger danger. That was you. That was me. Uh, I argued about, that, argue on about that. Kicker keep man. I can't believe they're still arguing about that shit. They will not shut up about it. Isn't it annoying? Yes. Just like I get it. You don't like what you did, but yeah. YouTube is not protecting creators. Yeah, they don't care about you. Why would they? Uh, they don't care about any of this shit. Well, no one was harmed, also. Yeah, and no one will be harmed. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to no go to, to his house protected. and shoot him because a lady took a picture of his house. I was, uh, I was all amped up to argue with that review tech guy. 
I couldn't find that video. Did he post it? I think he posted it on like another channel of his. I was trying to find it. But we had a really good time. Yeah, after he called me a pedophile. He's we got a well. <laughs> He called me a pedophile sympathizer, whatever the fuck that no, means. No, he called you a pedophile. Did he? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, now you guys are friends, so maybe we can get him on the show. Yeah, 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 maybe. He follows me on Twitter. He follows you, I assume. He's a fun guy. He's been following Yeah, he is a fun guy. Um I said, uh, I forget something I said. Oh, yeah, I was like, well, you threatened to rape my mouth, my cock with your mouth. Yeah. How do you know that your fans aren't going to do that? And he was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could happen. <laughs> yeah, Review Tech USA famously said, why don't I come over there and suck your dick like you want her to? And you're like, I don't understand how this is. That's, uh, what point are you making? <laughs> Sounds like a rape threat. It is, yeah, that's yeah. a rape threat. Uh, Which is worse than taking a picture of someone's house, I would say. That's like guys who, like, uh, like a guy in a in the fifties in a movie, yeah. like the bad guy in the fifties period piece. They're like, "Well, you're gonna give it to him. You might as well give some to me." Like, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it, a very except it's not give some entitled. to me. It's let me give some to you. No, he. If she's gonna it. suck your dick, I might as well suck your dick as well. That is what it was. Yeah. That was a rape threat. Well. Now you guys are friends. Don't worry, I don't think YouTube's gonna protect me from uh, Review from Tech that. USA's aggressive mouth. Yeah. Um, nostalgia. Oh, scraping your armpit with deodorant, and then Nostalgia sixty four. Uh, you got a lot of hate for, for that one. Some people made some points. I might agree with. No, yeah. I don't know if they did. Look, I think a lot of people were mad. I said Ocarina of Time sucks. I still don't like that game. But I understand why some people kind of like it, but yeah, because it's because it's great. Mm, it's kind the of a, story is great. The story is great. We're gonna have to compare What's Super the story Killer of to Ocarina of Time. There's a fucking ocarina, and yeah. you blow it, and you fucking go and back to the past. Boy, and you gotta, but then he goes. Now he's a big boy, and then he goes back, and he's a little boy. You gotta fix your parents' relationship. All those Zelda games have terrible plots. That's one of the worst parts of the Zelda games. Uh, not the first one. Get a sword. Well, the first one's great because it has basically, yeah, the most bare bones plot. It's that just, the first game is every man's fantasy, just to upgrade your sword through a series of challenges. Yes, um, and find enough crystals to buy the red candle. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry, rupees. <laughs> <laughs> 805 <laughs> Dev says, Vito did excellent on Kick or Keep. Probably the best guest I've seen on there. Carried the show. DGGL. I could Daddy, take over daughter. this whole commentary community or whatever, this whole debate space. Uh huh. I could own it in a year if I wanted to. Are you going to? No, because these people are insufferable. Um, and they just talk about the most. Did you hear the topics that they bring up on the show? <laughs> They're great. One of them was like, "What? Do you, when do you think we should like teach kids about sex education?" I'm like, "Oh, that old chestnut." You were hammering them though. Yeah, because they're all fucking idiots. <laughs> and you were like misrepresenting their points. Oh yeah, I'm really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. Is like these guys got no. I think one guy said that he's like, you know what the best thing is? Is like they would try to insult you, and it just always rolled off you because you're like, they're like, well, you're a fat piece of shit. I'm like, yeah, but you're retarded. Yeah. It's like yeah, you just got it. They don't know how to roll. And you kept the woman on. You got to pick who got eliminated, and you kept the woman on, which was sm that's good gamesmanship. Yeah, because I knew she had no chance. Uh, the one retarded thing I heard you say was that you thought suicide should be legal, but only if someone goes to like a like a doctor first and gets permission. I felt like that the room wanted to hear that. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that so was part round, of the game. Every yeah. round, Destiny is like Destiny throws out a question. It's like it's like basically the worst party game I could you could imagine, right? right? A debate topic with the worst of like sorts. like the most liberal leftist people imaginable, right? Yeah. So it's it's awesome to see you, you guys fight. Uh, and Destiny throws out I think suicide or something. Should suicide be legal or something like that? Like, yeah. And you yeah. said, you're for it. Uh, I'm like, I'm for it. I think it's your body, your choice. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, but I would want there to be, you know, you have to talk to a mental health professional and whatever else. And I said, But in what? the back of my mind, I'm like, no, you should just be able to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> okay, like, so that was a trick. Oh, I, I, dude, I I knew. I was like, I can't go too hard in the paint with the suicide thing. Because then these guys are going to, like, try and cast me as a madman who wants, like, a bunch of, you know, teenagers to kill themselves. But... Oh, God, we should God be so forbid. lucky. God forbid. <laughs> That'd solve that whole free Palestine thing in a hurry, wouldn't it? 
Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I guess I was convincing in my, yeah, there should absolutely be checks and balances. I'm like, no, nah, man, you want off the ride, get off the ride. I just thought you, you were like backpedaling, to... but if you were doing it on purpose, then that makes sense. I was kind of trying to read. I know who watches those shows, man. It's a bunch of hand wringing. Yeah. Oh, I don't want anyone to to hurt themselves. To kill themselves. I might do it if I it's legal. Do. Yeah, exactly. And then you said, um, God, what was the other thing you said? You said if you did, if you lost, it was in the finals and they were voting. And you yeah. said if you didn't win, you would never come back and do the show again. And the show sucks without you. <laughs> you thought that was a bad move or a good no, move? I was laughing. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, if I don't win, I'm never coming back, and this show will fail. So yeah. vote for a better show. Uh, right after the show ended, get messages from like all the hosts where they're like, you can be on any episode you want. It's the first time the show has worked. So I won $500, and I also, but I fucked up, because apparently Why? they're like, uh, okay, so now we can raid your kick stream. And I'm like, oh, was I supposed to be streaming during this or something? I'm supposed to be on kick? Why would like, you want that? To just keep talking to people? Well, no, because then you get a bunch of new followers and subscribers. Oh. Uh, but now I do have a Kick account, and I am streaming on Kick. We'll see. Well, good job. That's what we'll bring this show after we get banned from YouTube. <laughs> That's got to be any day. You got to go on <laughs> Kick or Keep. You would have fun on no, there. No, I would get out right away. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't play that game. But that's fun, too. That's also fun. Not Smoke says, Vito unable to acknowledge GoldenEye as good, uh, has me seriously rethinking my patronage as a Vito-file plus. Dick, come get me. Uh, Daniel- I like GoldenEye's mission-based structure. It's fun to, like, accomplish little mini objectives, it's but... It's a fucking nightmare. Dude, Golden yeah, Eye come on. Oh, the controls oh, are... Oh, 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 oh. You know, I guess now that you can remake it with... They do have remakes where it has, like, analog support, but it's still a weirdly designed game. It's so gray, too, man. Come on. Yeah. Like, I have no fucking idea what I'm looking at. Um, Daniel T says, Vito ripping on Shad's art when he made that picture for their treatment is hilarious. The difference is I did not take pride in that thing, and I did not describe it as a masterpiece. I just said, oh, it's kind of fun and funny. <sighs> Whatever. You put other people's names on that, you know? And I took it out when we said to not use it, and that's fine. But all those goofy fonts you use, those are still... Those annoying. were not goofy. <laughs> those are good fonts. Uh, well, it's like a weird font. Okay. If you get a thing, it's like a blue, blue, blue. Uh, King Cheeses says, I got a new vein in my forehead listening to Vito talk about the N64. Ocarina of Time was good because of the story, the music, what and the atmosphere. What are you talking about? It has no, no story. because the walking and the gram fix. Ow, you go find three crystals. And then you can play a magic flute. What's the story? Who made the flute? Uh, a secret organization. They don't say. Yeah. Nothing like a story where all this shit just exists. I don't know. I didn't play that game. Yeah. I didn't have a Nintendo 64. Oh, I bet the Sages of Time made it, right? Yeah. How'd you know that? I don't know. Uh, Sovereign says, when you thought Vito's takes couldn't get any worse, you say hear him say Pokemon Snap is better than Ocarina. Pokemon Snap right. is great. That's why they just made a new one on the Switch, which I need to get. I hate Vito so much, he says. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for adding that. <laughs> just remember that this is what Sniper Sheep, oh boy, J Reds, this is what Sniper Sheep looks like without all that makeup and Botox and... Non-prescription glasses. So did he send a picture of her looking yes. ugly? Um, well, looking like a like a yeah, normal, normal woman. woman. Yeah. But I don't know what the non-prescription glasses have to do with it. I guess he's saying, well, when you have those big frames, they give you those anime-looking eyes. Maybe that's what he's saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, don't send me pictures of uh, ugly women. I saw pictures of uh, <laughs> whatever you I probably do. Probably shouldn't say it. <laughs> Somebody was posting like old pictures of uh, that Star Wars girl. I'm not saying she was. So un- you're picking fights. No, 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 I'm not though. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. I don't know. I don't know if it was actually her, but like, is she like Indian? I don't know. She's white, I think. Bro, I saw like pictures of her. I think she's like an like Indian or something. Like a mo- and just putting on like some sort of what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could be crazy. I think it was like her yearbook photos. Uh, she had those like big Indian no, eyebrows. No, 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 That's no. That's fine. I didn't say she was ugly. I'm just saying. Like, she was well, like, big she's- Indian eyebrows. What's that mean? I'm just saying she had very <laughs> thick eyebrows. She clearly plucks them now. I think she's like Indian or something. What's her last Maybe. name? I don't know. Anna Kasparian. No, it's not Kasparian. 
Uh, the Mighty Thor says, the only good thing Eric the Grifter July ever did was introduce me to this insanely funny show. If it wasn't for him, I never would have heard about Dick and Vito. Eric makes shitty comics, but his stupidity brings laughter to the world. The what? chat says she's Portuguese. Oh, she's Portuguese? Oh, okay. How brown well, are the Portuguese? They're, um, they're pretty white, I guess. Yeah, they're Caucasian, I think. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it was because it was an old photo. It looked like brown. <sighs> Maybe she was doing blackface, like Trudeau. Either way, she she looks good now. Mm. And she looked good back then as well. I'm really fucking this up. I just thought it was interesting to Don't see. Don't worry, they all think you're a pedophile. It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> you're right, I probably shouldn't say anything about her old yearbook photos. Uh, well, guys, does that bring me to my favorite segment? Uh-huh. Can you guys give some energy to these fucking... No more... No more Scarborough Fair. All right, give me like Why, some rock funny. anthems. What about this one? What do we got? Vote it up. You're gonna go to biggest problem. I already heard this one. You're gonna get. I'm pretty sure you've heard that one. How about this one? So I, already this one well. so I already heard both of these. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think we're. How about this one? I don't know if we've heard this one. Okay. The chat will tell us. We're hearing it again anyway, if we did hear it. Go float! I don't care how! I don't care if you like it or you disavow! Keep that in mind when you're trying to vote! Go to the website, biggestproblem.show! Votes on a whole value of things! Seth Rogen, IRS, and work marketing! Watch them tick up till the end of the week when Vito's in the lead, but then Dick has to cheat! Tweeting out to the guys from the Dick Show! Harvesting his votes, but he's mad at Joe! Trying to hold on, but didn't even know! Killing your dog just to watch you vote! It. All right, that's. <laughs> I didn't. Re- I mean, I, I did remember. S- oh, whatever. We can't hear it again. I'm that's a sorry, good one, though. Lord. That's savior. a good one. That's my mistake. That's my poor uh, management. Well, mistake. now we know, and knowing is half the power. Well, Dick, got some great voted ups for you. Of course, this is a segment where we visit past problems uh-huh. and put them in a new light. Dick, all the way back in episode six. We had the problem of silver alerts. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what silver alerts are? Yeah, old people. Old Gone people, missing. right? And then we have amber alerts. Those are fine. Kids. Kids. Okay. Going to give you the new type of alert. I'm just try to blue infer alerts too. blue alerts if cops. cops are in trouble. Yeah. What would you think if I told you that the California is enacting a new law to implement ebony alerts? Hmm. Ebony. <laughs> Ivory, of course, being it's like a bike missing. Is that <laughs> no? It's ask, not a miss. Ask, it's not a missing bike. Uh, we could ask you know who. No, who oh, I don't know. <laughs> think he's gonna know. Oh, uh, oh, <laughs> I've been sounding Hi, the ebony Scott. alert for some time. Yeah, you have been sounding the ebony alert. It's been oh, a big problem. Are there degrees of it? Ebony, obsidian, <laughs> onyx. <laughs> Scott, oh, listen, this is not what you think other, it is. The other one is a Spanish word that I can't say. Okay, well, I'm glad you can't say that. Please don't say that on this show. <laughs> Scott, this is not what you think it is, okay? This oh. is an alert notification system to address the crisis of missing black children and women. Oh. So there you go. Where were they where are they missing from? I'm gonna move there. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Sign me up for Scott. the ebony alerts. I'm moving in. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. I'm old Scotty's moving in. <laughs> here, Scott. Here, here comes the neighborhood. <laughs> Stop. That's terrible. <laughs> Scott, did you know about a hundred? What else is what else is missing? Oh. This is you should not be making jokes. This is terrible, Scott. A hundred and forty-one thousand oh. black children under the age of eighteen went missing in twenty twenty-two. Can oh, you believe it? Wow, how many dads went missing? <laughs> they don't. They don't they track don't that Maybe they're out looking for them, like Elf. Remember yeah. that movie? <laughs> I'm Merry sure the Christmas, dads. Vito. <laughs> Scott, this is so fucking terrible. Terrible. You know, and also, according to the Black and Missing Foundation, missing oh. black people are less likely than white people to have their stories highlighted in the media. So if a black oh. person goes missing, less news oh. attention will be paid to well, that. Well, why is that? Why do you think that is, Vito? I, you know, maybe it's just systemic racism, <laughs> Scott, that is preventing society oh, from trying to find uh, these missing black people. Perhaps. They should lure them lure them out, like in like the Tyrannosaurus in Jurassic Park. How would you lure them out, Scott? <gasps> Oh, I'm, uh, Vito, I have no idea. <laughs> That's the right answer. That's the right answer, Scott. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Goodbye. That was Scott Allen's Ebony greater alerts? of Dilbert. Why don't they just call him Black Alerts? 
Like, I don't like Ebony's like the magazine. It is a little the fancy magazine. It's a little black people. Well, they don't call them old people alerts. They call them silver alerts. I guess you got to use a color kind of. But black is a color, so. But amber is like a little. Gr- did they? Did they think Amber's that- also a color, huh? I guess. Did they think it's a color? They think, I mean, I guess like, they. It's took not it. a color. It's, yeah, that's it's supposed her name. to be the name of her. But I guess now they're going. Well, it's Amber's a also a color. It's like a retcon. So they're color coding them now. Uh-huh. Ebony, huh? <sighs> well, Dick. Uh, they have a dead wife alert. Hope How about that. <laughs> well, I don't think they have those. Party alert! Bing bong! Hello! <laughs> Divorce alert! <laughs> La, 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 la. What are they going to do when they get to the Chinese alert and they, the Asian alert and they know they want to use yellow, but they're not allowed to? Math alert. <laughs> yeah, math alert. Well, Dick, silver alerts are currently number 100 on the board, right? Even even 100 with 441 upvotes. Uh-huh. And uh, don't forget to go vote it up. Here's another problem you might remember. Okay. This is actually a recent one from our Biggest Problem in Summer bonus episode. All right. Available at patreon.com slash biggest problem. This is my problem, having to use sunscreen. That was a weird problem. It is a weird problem. But I think it's going to make a lot more sense after you hear this from Representative Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Ocasio? I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> really? Wait, what's her name? Ocasio? Aca- what is it? Ocasio. Ocasio? Yeah. What did I say? Ocasio? Ocasio. It's close enough. Uh, well, AOC, as she's more yeah, popularly known, which is why I can't pronounce her name, is currently lobbying Congress to change FDA laws to improve sunscreen products sold in the United States. Did you know that in other countries, European and Asian countries, they have gotten all sorts of new, exciting UV filters that makes their sunscreen infinitely better? Our sunscreen has not been updated since 1999. The problem is our country. That's a long time ago? Shit. Yeah. Sunscreen in our country is regulated as a drug rather than a cosmetic with long FDA approval waits on testing. Thank God that nobody's selling fucking poison to kids. we got all these regulations. (laughs) So we're literally getting cancer from going outside. You have a good point there. Thank the fucking FDA for that. You have a good point there. Big government voted up, In America, there are only 16 approved active ingredients for use in sunscreens. Well, in the European Union, they have up to 48 allowed UV filters. This year, the American Cancer Society says up to 3.3 million Americans have been diagnosed with skin cancer. Yeah. So, not only is having to use sunscreen a problem, that's the problem is that it's, it, we probably, they have sunscreen that doesn't burn your eyes when you put it on, and it's much nicer. They, lo- they love it, actually. Yeah. You squirt, squirt it right, it right, right your in your eyeballs. Eyes. You got to go to the other countries to get the good, good sunscreen. That problem, currently number 328 with 148 upvotes. Mm-hmm. Actually, currently tied with Texas legal myths, another recent problem. That, oh, that was an Eric July problem, up. right? I think that was an Eric July problem. Man, I hope they get those laws changed so he can kill Riley <laughs> next time that Riley comes <laughs> over and pulls up. Did Riley actually go to the grave, or was that another <clears throat> photo? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just know what I see on the internet, Riley, man. Riley says he went to the grave. I don't know if you pulled somebody else's photo, though. So what are you fucking, Matlock, for Riley's photos? I just think if he went to the grave, he would have done something... Like, take a video or something. So you're trying to... So if there is some kind of a switcheroo, you're yeah. trying to I'm undermine it. it. For what purpose? Just to expose one or either of them? Riley's a fraud. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. No, I'm not trying to undermine him. I don't know. I'm just... In, I didn't know if he posted it as a goof, you know? Uh-huh. Okay, fine. Riley went to every grave... <laughs> And he Just dug up the bones, and he sucked on them like a chicken sandwich. Uh, All right. that, this has been voted up, folks. It's Thanks a good for one. coming by. What's this one? Go vote! I don't care how! I don't care if you like it or you disavow! Keep that in mind when you're trying to vote! Go to the website, biggestproud.show! That's better. It's probably blasting everybody right now. Check, check. Ah, Thank you. Thank you to Malort and Savior. Malort we need some more fucking bits. I don't know if I... Or, Thanks. Well, I tried to bring in my dick's Twitter bit, but uh, that fell on its fucking face. 
Oh, the unblock me? No, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, voted oh, more up voted things. out. So I need to make some more myself. <sighs> well, because you, you relied on Lofty to make a bit happen. Yeah. It was it was an indictment it. against the Lofty. You really screwed that bit up. Maybe Shit somebody all else. Over it. I should have listened to it ahead of time and been like, "Well, this is not going to work." I wanted to be surprised. Come well, on, you were. I well, I guess I was. I wasn't that surprised, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even like, "Oh, that's Lofty Pixels for you." All right. Fucking bringing anything exciting to a screeching halt. <laughs> You're the big winner. I am the you big block winner. Them. Everybody should block Lofty. If Don't you haven't block, blocked Lofty, uh, you gotta go block Lofty. For that guy. What is that guy? So he's like the quarterings like meme guy. Block the quartering too. Well, Get you out should block you know, the You don't quartering. need to know about this court. This uh, cartoons, SJWs and cartoons. Did you see the quarterings like post? Like I haven't been getting a lot of. Uh, I haven't gotten a lot of views lately. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. What do you guys want me to talk about? I'm like, anything other than coffee ads. Yeah, man. why don't you talk about just something? Talk your, about why don't you just have more. your actual honest opinion instead of having to poll the audience as to what they're into and then making a hundred videos? You know what it was? He made like a thousand videos about that stupid Bud Light shit. Ugh. I think everybody's Trash. like, dude, I can't watch this every day. I'm done. Oh my god. I don't care. A lot of Free guys. Palestine. Free Palestine. Has anybody has anybody lost their job for supporting Israel? Uh probably. Yeah. Hamas, probably. No, what do you Ew. call it? Tara Strong, a uh, voice actress. She said I support Israel and she got canned. She basically said Or did she say kill all No, <laughs> she didn't say that, but she like responded to some tweet wherever and everybody said, Well that tweet says all Muslims are terrorists, but it didn't really say that. You know? What it was said her response? Most Muslims are no, it didn't say what that. What was her either. response? She said, like, you know, you got to support Israel or something, and then there's this, like, stupid... Somehow I doubt that that's crowd. what... She's, that's she's what Jewish. Saying. She's a Jewish lady. What do you expect? Here's <laughs> what I don't... Okay, this is another problem. I don't know. Maybe I should do this problem. By all means, do a... You know what? You have... Let's do your, it. Your subtlety intact is <laughs> above <laughs> bar none, so I think you should do it. Here's my Israel problem. Prob Jewish problem. People expecting Jews to not be Jews. Okay? <laughs> Don't give me that face. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. So Jew <laughs> There's no need to worry about ads on the channel anymore. No, look, this is this is not what you think it is. I'm just <laughs> it doesn't matter what I think it is. <laughs> All right. So I got a I have an anecdote. <sighs> <laughs> oh, up, nothing racist up. has ever started it's not like that. Racist, okay. Okay. I knew this guy. You know what was his name? His name was uh, Alex Jaffe. Okay. Okay. He's a very devout Jewish guy. Where's the yarmulke? All, every day. Well, very devout is like the hat, the Heisenberg hat with the curls. Not so much the curls. Okay. I, th I feel like there was a period of time Shomer where he, he might have done the curls. I think he pulled back. Did he, he have a light switch that somehow is not turning on the light during Shomer Shabbos? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that? No. That they have? They, yeah, they have the fake. because well, fake they light switch. Because they can't turn on lights. Yeah, but it turns the light on. How does that work? I've heard about that. Lies. <laughs> so, wait, wait, is it a light switch or not? Well, you do it and the light goes on. Okay, but like there's something else that makes the light go on, so technically you're not turning on the light. Yeah, well, that's what doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm gonna it's like one of these. Yeah. I'm gonna come at you spinning I'm my hands, and if the light turns <laughs> on, I'm still Shomer Shabbos. <laughs> You've never watched the kosher light switch video? No, I haven't actually. Uh, I've heard about it. It'll clear a lot of things it. up. Yeah. You watch that, you go, oh. Oh, I see. Is that I see how this happens? Is that on Saturdays or is that Sundays? Saturdays. Every Saturday? Yeah. Uh, so, very devout Jewish guy, obviously. And he was doing a podcast with some guys, one of whom is like... Hamas guys? No, not Hamas guys, but one of whom is quite possibly... I don't, and I, You know I never use this term, but I'm going to use this term. The social justice warrior? <laughs> this is the only guy who I am 100% comfortable using that term. This guy was like... The absolute fucking definition of that word. Okay. And this was like years ago when Israel was fighting with Palestine. I don't know if you've heard about this. <laughs> How many years ago? Like 2,000? Yeah, it was about 2,500 years 2, ago. 2,000 years ago. 3,000 years ago. I think this exact incident was 10 years ago. Maybe a hospital. You know what I love? Yeah, you know, when, when they're talking about how old the fight is. And they're mm. like, this land was all Israel one time. It's like, 
Well, that was like 200 guys. <laughs> now it's like millions, you know? Yeah. It's not, look at his uh, um, uh, Simba. It's as far as the eye can see. Like, yeah, there's like 12 of you. So that's fine. <laughs> Been going Obviously, on. you have natural gas deposits now. It's not really the same. Now it's a bit different. <laughs> anyway, something had happened. Somebody had bombed somebody. I don't remember the exact details. And my this one guy, the super social justice type guy, he went right. Well, that's that's Israel for you. Uh huh. That that awful Israel. Oh, the SJW. Yeah, said the SJW that. guys. Said yeah, they're that. They're anti-Israel. Yeah. And this other guy, anti-America. And he's like this other guy, my Jewish buddy. He's like a young guy. I think he's like his twenties, and he goes. Well, I'm actually a fan of Israel. <laughs> and the other guy loses his mind. <laughs> See, that's exactly how he would say it, too. Well, actually, I'm a fan of, like, oh, boy, oh, geez, I bet you didn't know this. <laughs> I mean, he's like a young guy raising a, Jew, a strictly devout Jewish household, wears the hat every day. Uh -huh. And can you believe it? Yeah. He's on the side of Israel. Isn't that shocking? <laughs> This does he have a light switch? Yeah, I think he probably that turns has the lights light on, switch. but he, he isn't turning light does. on. Somehow this turned into, and you've dealt with this, a long-running podcast with a hundred episodes in the bank. Oh, immediately firing him, who was like the moderator of the co-host, the Fired Jewish, the Jewish guy. guy. Yeah. Oh, because he said I can't work. They just can't catch a break. <laughs> 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 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish guy right. getting fired from entertainment. Yeah, yeah. It's not supposed to oh, happen. God. Was he okay? He was okay. Okay. Uh, and some somehow years later they mended the rift, and I don't know exactly what happened there. But uh, they're very forgiving people. Again, at the time, I said, "Well, what do you ex what What did you expect the Jewish guy to think about Israel? What What did you think?" He was going to <laughs> say about the situation. Yeah, I love it. Did you it. think he was going to say, "Yeah, I fucking hate Israel. It's the worst. It's full of all these Jews." Yeah, but Mexicans don't do that. Like, I no, it's not real. Yeah, no, you. If you talk shit about Mexico, don't Mexicans get upset? You can't no, talk shit. I don't care. Mexico sucks. That's where we're leaving. Well, that is true. The problem with Mexico, Fuck Mexico. Well, Mexico is full of like. We don't even have any nukes. The difference is that Mexican people don't want to go to Mexico. Jewish people want to go to Israel. Why aren't they there? They go there. They go on birthright. <laughs> go check it they out. Get, I, they, mean, I, I go to Tijuana. A, yeah, all my awesome. Jewish friends got a free vacation to fucking birthright or whatever. And they get to walk around and learn. What's that? What's that all about? You know? Do you know birthright though? Right? Yeah. 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 Well, it's because they want. It's because they know that a certain percentage of young Jewish people are going to become old, rich Jewish people. Yeah. So the state of Israel is like, come check it out. I'm come pretty check sure. It out. I'm pretty sure that you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you make, you know, millions upon millions of dollars, it's like, oh. hey, why don't you send us a little something? Or if you get into a position where you can censor people on the internet, like, oh, why yeah. don't you tip? This? Why don't you help us out? Why don't you ban a couple people? Why don't why you? Why don't you help us <laughs> out? Um, would you get upset when when Italy suffers? Do you even know what's going on in Italy? Uh, they have like an economic crisis <laughs> recently. Yeah. You ever, you ever get? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not like very in tune with what's going on with Italy. <laughs> the Italian American community is not really too connected to the actual. I mean, I guess some parts of it are. <laughs> yeah. At this point, you're so many years removed. But Israel's like new and fresh and fun. <laughs> Yeah. You know, Israel's like <laughs> new and fresh and fun. Yeah, <laughs> so you guys, I thought you guys had it for thousands of years. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, also yeah. that as also well. That. Also that. See, if I flick this light switch, <laughs> the lights go on. But I didn't. I didn't flick the switch. They rebooted Israel. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, <laughs> it's a modern day. It's a she boot. Very edgy reboot. It's a she boot. It is they also got all a those bitches they got a bunch of ladies. and their TikTok thing. Yes. God, I fucking hate that. Yeah. And all these Jewish people are like, man, I'm so glad they brought it back, and it's actually pretty fresh and fun, and I, I don't know why anybody's upset with it. So it's, like, it's basically like, Star You should Wars. glass uh, Gaza. Like, <laughs> oh, you know, I guess, of course, that's what they're... Hey, at least, we got, at least we got a sequel. Do you think if you were Israeli, you would be kind of pissed at, like, the American Jews for boosting this like sense that there should be a war if i was israeli in israel mm. i would go hey can you guys uh, can shut you jews on the up. right shut the fuck up cuz i'm the one getting rockets lobbed at me yeah. out of water pipes why don't you guys <laughs> shut your fucking mouths unless you're going to come over here and be my human shield i don't know how they feel in israel i think they're they don't like it you think you think they're worried they about not, what the americans are saying they do not saying? want to go to war yeah. they do not like their government there it's 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 very similar to here 
About half of them are like, man, fuck these guys. <laughs> fuck this shit. Yeah. I'm tired of getting shot. Did you see we just, uh, America just bombed some targets in Iran? Oh. So that'll be your fun. Your guy. That's your guy. That's my guy. Biden. Uh, I love that guy. Let's go, Joe. Point I was trying to make is, look, you know, we love, we all love the Jews, obviously. Uh-huh. Some people are, you know, worried about political disagreements they might have with the Jewish people. I'm worried about uh, bank account disagreements. That's that's something you can worry about. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't like getting necessarily it have to involve Jews. That can involve anyone. Could be Right. You're right. <laughs> How stupid of me. How stupid of you. How silly of you. But the problem is I'm actually afraid of white people who are getting, it's like a like somebody messes with a guy, a white guy's girlfriend, and he gets all amped up and wants to kick someone's ass. Yeah. That's like Israel. White Christian and Christians in America are like, you guys fuck with this? I gotta beat the fuck out of someone. I'm like, uh, dude, you need to calm down. Yeah. You're not related to this at all, other than your fucking fairy tale book about Armageddon. Yeah. So the Christian relationship with Jewish people is really weird. I remember my grand- It's like Master Blaster. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my grandfather was like uh, kind of the same way. Where actually my step grandfather. Yeah. Thankfully, none of that weirdo. He was a weirdo. Blood got into me. Yeah. I got different weirdo blood. But he was always like, "Well, the Jews are God's chosen people." And I'm like, "Well, if that's true, why don't you become Jewish?" And he's like, "Well, couldn't possibly." Because. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's like this weird thing where they're like, well, they're still kind of on our side for some reason because we kind of believe in the same God. And you're like, well, the Muslims believe in the same God, too. And no, it's like, no, 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 that doesn't no, count. No. That doesn't count at all. That's completely different. Uh, yeah, it's like this weird, I don't know if they consider, do Christians consider themselves the keepers of the Jews? Like, they the got to carve out a little Christians space believe for them. That, um, that the coming of Jesus will happen if Israel, Israel wins, yeah. like whatever they're doing over there. Why? That Jesus Christ will come out <laughs> just for fun because he's because white guys love <laughs> cunty women that shit test them all the time. So their God or the whatever whatever Jesus is with the long hair, mm. little gay to me, yeah. is shit testing them before he comes back. There's a lot of tests, and it will be the end of the world. So they can laugh at people like me who don't care. Did you ever read any of that Left Behind or watch the movies? Do you know that series? No. It's a Christian fiction series about what happens when the rapture occurs. I read the Langoliers. Is it like that? I don't know. The they Langoliers made, is cool. It's like Pac-Man. No, it's not like that at all. <laughs> it's a cool book. They made one movie with, uh, fuck, who's the guy who's in every movie? Con Air. Nicholas Cage? Nicholas Cage was in the first movie in the Left Behind installment before they realized there wasn't enough Christians to make it a real movie, so then Kirk Cameron took over for the rest of the installments. Huh. Yeah. Okay. He played like an airplane pilot in the middle of flying the airplane. Half the airplane disappears because the rapture's happening. Hmm. That's what happened in the Langoliers. Yeah. Okay. It's better, though. Well, the point is that that book- from House was in that movie, I think. Oh. Well, this was, again, Christian fiction, which is all about a bunch of weird stuff's going to happen in Israel, and it's very important, and we, the yeah. Christians, need to make sure that, that it goes, goes down, down properly yes. there. We're a little off topic. My original topic was- I don't even think you can, should say it again. It's the same with Tara Strong. It's like, everyone's like, I can't believe that this voice act, this Jewish lady in Hollywood supports Israel. And I'm like, you kids got some learning to do. Yeah, but they've you been kids, saying they've been saying for a long time. Up. Like <laughs> they've been they've been very, playing very fast and loose with the race card. Who has um, Jewish Americans mm. in Hollywood? Where they're like, uh, as white people, we all need to yeah, realize that we right. should vote for. I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't claim both. <laughs> Does that switch work or not? Uh, Is it turning lights do on I or get not? To, do I get all the stuff you guys were getting? Because we're in the same uh, camp now? We Point white is, people. I see a lot of young people, and they're like, I can't believe the voice of, I think she's the voice of Pinkie Pie. On, on. Yeah. What's she I say can't exactly? believe Pinkie Pie. Look, it, look up. it up. Tara now. Strong. Do you know how to spell her name? Tia? Yeah, yeah. Strong? Yeah. Tara is a, can be a weird name. Strong. Uh, Israel. Palestine. Or tweet. Palestine. Terry Strong. Strong removed from Aminated series Botox before. It's not called Botox. It's uh, called Boxtown. Damn, that bitch is hot for a voice. So they issued a statement. <clears throat> and again, this is a show that's like crowdfunded. What'd so you that say? That was what it was kind of stupid. Uh, let's see. Strong reportedly liked to tweet, 
that equated all Muslims to Hamas and ISIS. The tweet, the tweet read, said, Islam is a real, clear, and present danger. <laughs> well, she liked a tweet. She didn't tweet the tweet. <laughs> What's she doing liking the tweets like that? I mean... <laughs> If that said Christianity is a real and present danger, that would be okay to like that, right? I mean, uh, yeah. And if it said Judaism was a real and present danger, it would be wrong to like that tweet and you would go to jail. Uh, yeah, I guess. Why do they always hide this stuff? Why can't they just put the stuff on Twitter? The actual tweet? Yeah, I know. I mean, the reason it was stupid, though, is that it was like a crowdfunded cartoon and she's like kind of helping out like a little fan project. Well, they can't like they all, deal with the controversy like this. Well, they can't deal with it because they're a bunch of twenty-year-olds making it, and all their friends go, "She's a bigot, and you need to cancel her." Yeah, and us who are adults, who know that Jewish people working in don't the entertainment about, industry, don't say us and then we, say shit about we Jewish people. We understand this. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Eric Shalai threatens to sue you again. You're gonna be right back in the bathroom throwing up. We understand that. Jewish professionals often feel this a certain way about This is what she said for Israel. those who support the actions of Hamas when they infiltrate your hometown on your... Is this really what she said? Yes. When they infiltrate your hometown on your soil, break into Jewish homes, raping, beheading innocent babies. What? You will applaud them? Will you wave their flag while they slaughter Christians and Muslims who don't believe their ideologies? What the fuck? It's about Hamas. It's not about Muslims. Well, it's kind of reframing everybody who doesn't think that people, that children should live in a concentration camp as, like, supporting rape. The children are not Hamas. Well, they're getting fucking bombed like they're Hamas. (laughs) That whole human shield thing kind of throws that argument out of the window. You guys are just going after the Hamas, yeah? Yeah, and they're human shields. They're what now? Luke Skywalker... Mark Hamill himself said that he supports Israel. So, which side do you want to be on? Did he say it like that? Did he use the word rape in his tweet? She's a woman. She's going to get a little hyperbolic. What are you going to do? A little, uh, (laughs) you know. She didn't say we got to bomb these, you know, bastards back to the Stone Age. She just said. If I was Jewish, I'd be more offended that you're lumping in some woman as me. Like, I wouldn't do that shit. So, what is my problem called? Let the Jews be Jews. (laughs) Let the Jews be Jews. All right, my problem is uh, mass shooters. How's that a problem? So annoying. Every time yeah, there's the a mass shooting, the annoyance. You get told that you have a small dick because you like guns. Is that really? That's necessary? the problem. <laughs> Every time there's a mass shooting, they call people with guns have. Small I get dicks. called a small. I have a small dick. I'm like, well, is this? I'm feeling a little shooty over of here. All the problems involved with mass shootings. Is that the top of your list? Is that someone has accused you of having a small penis? Well, it's like the the exhaustion and the predictability of the mass shooting rhetoric has yeah. reached a point now where it's indistinguishable from AI. Like, oh, somebody goes on a mass shooting. How could this happen? Uh, well, because, you know, everyone is annoying. That's how. Yeah. Uh, oh, we need more mental health. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hate that all you guys are here. What's the... You got a mental health fix for that? Well, it's because your dick is small. All right, man. We got to we gotta do something about this. You guys yeah. haven't done anything about anything, ever. Like, a couple guys have done a couple things, but you haven't done shit. So, well, I don't know what you're... What should they do? What, what should happen? It's... F- nothing. <laughs> what is the big fucking deal? <laughs> It's just, and then the guy, it's, it's every time. A, it's kind of, oh, there's a mass, a there's a mass deal. shooting in Detroit every weekend and no one gets upset because that's happening to fucking black people, man. Don't, yeah. don't you understand how media works? That's why. Because well, no this have is Ebony like a fucking alerts, horror house so happening all out. the time. White people are like, oh my God, a mass shooting could happen anytime. This is so exciting. Right? Yeah. God. And then you have black to, people are just used to it, is what you're saying? White people can't imagine themselves in Detroit, because they would never go there. So they don't give a fuck <laughs> if there's mass shootings happening in Detroit. It right. might as well be on Mars. There's a big mass shooting at a, at a library on Mars. Every white person, well, I would never be in a library. <laughs> white people go to Chicago. <laughs> there are a lot of suburbs. There. Uh, yeah. I guess there's parts of Chicago courts, you don't go to. The Cosby Show, I think, was in Chicago. I don't know. Probably. I went to Chicago. How, how'd you do? Had a lot of Italian beef sandwiches. How many a day? Two. Two a day? Maybe two a, one. Two for lunch? It's been a while since I've been. We should do a live show in Chicago. No. <laughs> Come on, chi It's hard, man. It's hard getting those venues in cities like that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, help, mental health awareness, then people blaming video games. 
It's like, all right. And then people defending video games, like, actually, video games don't cause it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, they probably do a little bit. Okay, here's the actual worst part <laughs> of mass do shooting. A little bit, man. Come on. Here's the actual worst part. <laughs> I know how to work those guns because of video games. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Video games have definitely get put. Don't take the video games, but they're probably a little bit. Sometimes, did you see that video of that guy who drove his car like through a parade or something? Yeah, and I was like, shit, that's just like playing GTA, man. I, of course, I, I feel that. Yeah, just drive up on the sidewalk. It doesn't Watch matter. Videos. Yeah, people aren't smart to distinguish between video games and real life. Really, no. especially not until they get up to the point. Oh shit, I actually got to shoot people. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the real problem: is just pick a better venue. Why? Why are you going to a bowling alley? Oh, you're yeah. I can't. Yeah, right. A bowling alley is already sad. First of all, anyone hanging out in a bowling alley is not living their best life. That's the worst part. Pick a better buddy. There's a lot of government buildings <laughs> that I don't want to see any <laughs> shooting happen, happen at, and they should be doing a lot of research there to figure out where these guys are going. And then is how I was going to finish that uh, sentence. The Europeans chime in. You're like, oh god, here's a European talking about yeah. how they don't have this problem. And then guys come in saying, well, fuck you, Euro. <laughs> oh, man, I, I can't take it anymore. You ever get the... I can't take it anymore. You ever get the European tourists come over and they're like, how worried do I need to be about getting caught in a mass shooting? That's fine. Because there wasn't just a mass shooting. <laughs> I'm only concerned about the mass shooting yeah. and the things that happen around it. Like people saying your dick is tiny. When does that ever happen? Other than mass shooting. Hey, that guy's a tiny dick. What the fuck? <laughs> what did I do? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I didn't do the mass shooting. Well, why wasn't there? A, there needs to be a good guy with a gun there. Like, well, I mean, that's funny and all. Like, I I get that it's like a, it's like razzes yeah. them up to say that, but who even cares? Here's a thought. Who fucking Here's cares? a part of mass shootings that maybe are are terrible is uh, the 22 the uh, victims who are now dead. Oh wow, yeah, a bummer. Real downer. Thanks a lot. <coughs> well, guess I better think real hard about that. Oh, man. I'm going to set aside time in my day and be real grateful for my life. I'm just saying. And all the TV I get to watch. <laughs> oh, thanks, God, for not. The show is a lot harder when, uh, yeah, when you've lost all interest in life. <laughs> It's just fucking dumb. It's You're more like, entertainment products yeah. on TV that are so boring. It is hard to pretend to care about anything anymore. We're like, yeah, well, I guess they're going to die anyway. Guys, we got <laughs> to do something about this. Like, man, why don't you lose fucking 20 pounds over there talking about doing something about guns? Fuck you. Yeah. It is kind of uh, exciting that the guy got away. <sighs> Here's yeah. what I was thinking the problem with mass shootings are is that uh, well, mass shootings are bad, but the problem with this one is the guy got away, mm. so he's exposing the incompetence of government, which is good. Mm. So I'm like, shit. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm like, well, obviously I hate what he did, but it's kind of cool that he's making the cops and the FBI look like fucking idiots. That's true. That's the cool part of it. That's true, man. I can't watch movies like Silence of the Lambs anymore. Yeah, because you want the like, cops I to want fuck them up. To, yeah, I want them to get away. I'm like, oh, hit her, hit her. Come on. Don't fucking talk. You got the night vision on, man. Just kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Oh, fuck. I'm like, I wish he hadn't killed all those people, but now that he did it and it's already done... I hope yeah. that he makes the FBI look really stupid. Like, they got to look for him for a while. And women were losing weight that summer in Silence of the Lambs because he's going after fat girls so he could make their skin, right? Yeah, he needed extra skin. And that was on the news, and girls were going like, oh, shit, I got to lose like 20 pounds. <laughs> look at his split. I got to get away from this fucking Buffalo Bill killer. <laughs> Wait, hold on. They just found his body, apparently. Oh, they uh, found him dead? An hour ago. No manifesto, I bet, too. Cock tease there. Let's read. Shit. I thought he got away on a boat. I was all excited. Like he was just going to go live on an island no, for like 10 crazy. years. No, because they're crazy. They're not going anywhere. They're fucking lunatics. Yeah, but why kill yourself? <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Because you can have more fun fucking around. I mean, wh why do you do it in the first place? <clears throat> Again, no manifesto he, he comes have, out. So Cocktease yeah. there. Manifesto comes out. It's boring as shit. Not proofread at all. Not workshop. I bet around. that translator's manifesto is really well written, and that's why they're not going to release it. Because it's going to convince a lot of people. To what? Do shootings? Yeah, that trans mass shooter, the one who went to like a school. Yeah. It's probably it's probably like... Probably because the cops raped why her. Why don't they write like... I would write like a manifesto like novel, you know? Like you got to read my whole book. <laughs> that's not, that that's a good doing? idea. Is that, that is what I'm kind of doing, yeah. I kind of already wrote that. Yeah. You know? Because it'll be like, oh, you got to read Super Killer. 
It's like, oh, that comic book with that guy who climbed that clock tower and murdered all those people? I can see it, huh? <laughs> yeah. And all the answers as to that why he, also he did it. argued with notes that were given to no, him, too. No, I didn't That's argue crazy. with the notes. I just, there's certain things. You don't have to explain everything about a hero in the first fucking You don't chapter. have to do any of my notes. It's not my book. I like your notes. I'm using your notes. Um, And then you got to read, like, the... The thoughts and prayers stuff. Yeah. Everybody's so funny. Mm. It's like, this is a greeting card, man. Stop. Please stop. Yeah, we've now reached the part of thoughts and prayers, then mocking thoughts and prayers, that we're now reached the mocking, the mocking of thoughts and prayers part. Uh -huh. it's too much. And it's like, how meta can our society come without collapsing inward on itself? More. It's got to be a little bit more. A little bit more. We're getting Well, there. that's my problem, mass shooters. Well, guys... Uh, order Super Killer now, so you'll have a souvenir once I move to Maine and lose my mind. No, we're going to be fine. Well, now i got to pick between two different problems, and I think I will pick... you got to pick the light-hearted one, because your first one was so heavy. Oh, like a sitcom. <laughs> you can't do two heavy problems in a row. Well, uh... Yeah, but you this... know what? Do what you want. <laughs> do whatever you want. Well, I got to do this one because I actually need help from the audience. Okay. Although I know when I say that, I've already gotten way too many messages and it's it's driving me nuts. But okay. maybe somebody will beat their way through the noise and tell me what to do here. So, I've been trying to get uh, testosterone. <laughs> Don't laugh. Why are you laughing? Why are we laughing at that? Because you put the call out, I hope someone will help me with this. I hope you're not more explicit as you talk about this problem. <laughs> well, I mean, they can send me legal advice or, like, legal right, links okay. or whatever. Maybe Kethel's could help. So, and it's been this, like, constant awful game of fucking telephone between my actual doctor and this, like, online doctor. Because I tried to do it... Like semi legally. normal, yeah, semi yeah. legally or what? It is legal. It's like, yeah, get a get a blood work done, and then we have a guy who looks at your blood work, and then what? And then he said, I need more blood work, so I got a more blood work, and then we send the blood work in. He goes, this blood work Bullshit. came back, didn't make any sense. You got to get it again, and then I need to know from your doctor. Blah, blah, blah. I've gone through all this, and finally, after like six months of this, he goes, Yeah, I can't approve you for testosterone. I'm yeah. like, Why? You looked at my shit. It says I need it, basically <laughs> based on the whatever. And he's like. Yeah, well, I don't know. There's just, like, some stuff in your chart I don't like and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, my problem is doctors who will not give you drugs that they you hoarded. very much want. Yeah. Based on very stupid reasons that they've come up with. Uh-huh. Like, oh, I don't know. Even though it's, like, a naturally occurring compound, it might possibly intervene. Okay? Because all we want is drugs, right? Right. We just want them. Yeah. And for some reason, a mass wanting them is considered rampage. suspicious and wrong. <clears throat> even yeah. though, why would we not want them? You tell us that a thing exists that has properties that makes our bodies better or makes us function better. Right. You go, oh, I want that. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa buddy, that's drug-seeking behavior right there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I am seeking drugs. And yeah. they're like, well, I can't give you drugs. It's your you're... whole fucking job. What do you mean, <laughs> seeking behavior? What are you here for? I can't give you drugs if you're seeking drugs. Well, then what the fuck? Why the hell is the point of all of this? What is all of What's this? What's this big building for then, buddy? Uh, Fixing broken legs? We need to... I, I'm actually glad we live in an age... People are telling me I gotta talk to the PKA guys because they have, like, a testosterone doctor guy who helps people out or something. Mexico. Yeah. I just order it from Mexico on WhatsApp. I gotta ask somebody because they're supposedly, like, a pill form. I'm worried about my sperm. No, uh, the pill... Testosterone the pill, I think, is... Uh, will fuck up your liver big time. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm not a fucking well, doctor. Well, that's why I want to talk to... Maybe it. steroids. I would like to talk to an actual doctor to get some uh, advice because I do... Tech, I might have fatty liver, but it doesn't oh. make sense because the doctor's like, well, I'm worried you might have fatty liver. And then I looked online, and they're like, uh, one of the reasons you get fatty liver is from having low testosterone. And I'm like, well, what is this cocksucker doing then? The reason I have the fatty liver is because I don't have the testosterone. Uh -huh. And it's like, yeah, but now that you have it, I don't, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Uh, also, I just want it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care if my liver gets poisoned and I die. I've decided yeah. I want it. Yeah. I want it. I want it. Give it to me. If only okay. the government wasn't And if you say to... that to a doctor, they go, well, that sounds like drugs. You sound now like an addict or like a drug mm. a pill popper. Yeah. 
same shit like trying to get a I got like some version of Ritalin type shit just so I can work better. How Whatever. many drugs are you on? Not that many, and uh, I don't remember to take Zimpic. them ever. Oh, mercy. That's my worst. Well, the problem is my brain's all fucked, and I'm like, I'm trying to find pills. She set a calendar alert. I try. I try. I don't know. What happened with that? Uh, I can't get on, like, a regular sleep schedule. I'll set, like, all these alarms and shit. What's a regular sleep schedule? I want to wake up at, like, 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning. Oof. 8? 10. I don't know. What time do you wake up? It, it, I lose an hour every day no matter what I do. What are you like from Mars? You you wake up an hour later? Yes, every single day. And then what? And then eventually I'm waking up at back at the normal time? Yes. <laughs> My body is on a tw uh 23 25 hour, hour. I think it's 25 hour clock. Okay, maybe it might be a 23, 23 hour yeah. clock. Um why? I don't know. And really, I don't believe you. It's, an hour later every day? It's like clockwork. An hour later every day. And you go all the way around? So, like, I'll be able to, like, fix it for, like, two days by using, like, an alarm or whatever, and then my body okay. will revolt and be like, we're staying up till 4 a.m. and there's nothing you can do about it. Four? That's not... And then no, but then what? it starts fucking up, and then, like, the next day I'm off because that... Yeah. What's your workout routine? Uh, just at some point during the day, I get on the exercise bike. I don't have a set time for it. Mm, for how long? Usually at night. 30 minutes. Exactly? Every yeah, day? Exactly 30 minutes. Hmm. No. Every, pretty much every day. You got to bump that up to an hour. I could. I've done that before. Do some weights or something. I almost bought a weight bench, bench oh, at the Goodwill. Oh, okay. But, but it was a little too big for my apartment. Oh. I want to get like a little one. Well, that's a lot of stuff to start piling drugs on top of, probably. I think the more. reason I have the problem is that I don't have any drugs. To, my, oh. I think my whole body is fucked. Okay. You I think if I had the testosterone, I would have like energy of some sort and not just, just go to Mexico and get it. fucking energy drinks and shit to try yeah. and stay awake ask Ralph showing up get on podcast and going ah, <laughs> I don't <laughs> all right it's just I live in a nightmare yeah being and that's the other thing you is gotta solve like, it though you gotta get a I pharma think, legal pharmacy I, I know I know and I've that's the that's what's infuriating is I've been trying to solve it I've been legally Yes, I've been going to the doctor and being like, please, no. can you give me something? Here are my symptoms. Here's what I think will help. No. And so then I'm sorry, after but... six months of jerking me around and ripping blood out of my body and putting yeah. it under a microscope, they go, well, you got a big old fat liver. And I go, I got mm. a big old fat everything. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to fix it. Give me the... And everybody I talk to is on testosterone. They go, I used to be a big fat piece of shit. And then I got all this energy and I feel like a teenager and I'm running around and having the best time of my life. So... Me for trying to use the system. I was an idiot. You're right. I should have just went online. You gotta do it though. Next time, next week comes around, I'll be like, oh, I didn't do it because of all this other stuff. Yeah, you gotta do it. That's my whole life. <laughs> that's not. That's not testosterone's fault. I don't know what the fault is. I not just you. Yes, you gotta go. Put it on your calendar. Do this here. I have like thing. So uh, let's put it this way. You know, like fast pass that you can get to go like right. under bridges or whatever. Okay. And when we, when you move, you have yeah, you can mail in your transponder and they give you like twenty five bucks or whatever. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, and it has written on the transponder like just drop this in any mailbox and it'll mail it to you and we'll give you twenty five bucks. Mm -hmm. So I had the fast track transponder from my old address for the past six years sitting on a table in my house. <laughs> well, you know, and it's I was just, just twenty five bucks. Yeah, but all I had to do was take it and drive to a mailbox and put it in. Yeah, but this is like your been body there. chemistry. I'm just you saying. You gotta rank it above. Yeah, I'm, it's 25. It's just a thing to do, though. Everybody has but that shit. But there's so many things to do that I don't know how to manage them. I'm a mess. <laughs> all right? I just wanted drugs. All I want is drugs. I just give me drugs. Yeah. So right now I know I'm getting like a million messages. Uh, don't give me a message if it's going to be stupid. Just tell me. I, I, I want to talk to somebody. I want to be like. <laughs> a priest? No, I want to talk to somebody who knows about how whatever. How to illegally get testosterone. Well, I want to know which kind to get that would be best for me. And I have my blood work. So somebody who could look at that and be like, okay, based on this, you know, don't inject that or the inject show, this. The show, the audience is like the giving tree for you. 
Buy my comic. Uh, somebody help me illegally get testosterone. Well, I figure I mentioned it online. And I got like a million fucking comments, and I just I'm thinking there's someone out there who actually knows what they're doing. What about Doctor Obtuse Gnome? I think Obtuse Gnome could help me out. After you threatened to sell him out to Eric July, I don't think I threatened to sell him out. You said you'd help Eric in any way you could find the perpetrator of that email. I don't think I said find the perpetrator. I mm. said I will give you a statement that says that this guy does not work for us uh, well, because he, works for me. he doesn't. I don't know that. Well, okay, you're right. He doesn't work for me. <laughs> and if you're hiring employees of the show, other than uh, apparently uh, our employee of the month went to Riley against yeah. my uh, yeah against my wishes. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I'm happy he won. Um, okay, so what is your problem? Uh, doctors who won't give you drugs. Yeah, that's a good problem. Won't give you drugs. Uh, they and never you know give shit other anymore. people are out. Well, I was gonna they say never give Vicodin anymore at all. It's well, so annoying. One of the part of the part Tylenol, of the problem has been you. uh, and they really don't want to give anyone opioids. So a lot of people with chronic pain are getting completely fucked right now. Yeah, because uh, after the opioid crisis. Uh, the United States in 2016 issued their guidance for prescribing opioids. Mm -hmm. And there was kind of like these very like generic like, well, don't give them more than like, typically don't give them more than 50 milligrams of this. Yeah. And the doctors went, okay, it's a law that if I give you more than 50 milligrams of this, I go to jail. And they're like, well, we didn't fucking say that. <sighs> yeah. uh, and also a bunch of, you know, people got sued into the ground for billions of dollars for prescribing too many opioids. So now doctors are like, ooh, I, can't, I can't give out pills or else I might get sued. Go. Welcome to America. Thanks all this, a lot. All this shit should be illegal, except selling poison children. We gotta stop that. Right. But that's the one thing you won't let go for some reason. <laughs> like, you see that all of these things are making your life miserable, and you still cling to this idea like it needs to be there because of children would get poisoned. Children whom you hate and well, have hate. disdain for You're right, I hate and don't children. care about would get poisoned by criminals. It's more that I want truth and... I want to know what goes into what I'm getting, you know? Well, what do you mean? I mean, like, if I get, like, a box of cereal, I want to know what's in the box of cereal. Cere cereal. Have you ever looked at the side of cereal? You're like, oh, yeah, sorbitol. That's good. Well, it tells you how much sugar and how much, you know, calories and all of that. I think that's all useful. But what do you do with that? You need, we need information so that you can make an informed decision, okay? <clears throat> like, if somebody comes out and they say, this is, you know, Ritalin. Mm -hmm. And you go, well, what does it do? And they're like, it just makes you feel good. Yeah, and it's fentanyl? It could be fentanyl, or it could just be like, you know, there could be side effects that could interfere with something else you're taking, and right. there has to be studies on that to make sure. Okay, well, enjoy your no testosterone then, since you fucking <laughs> I think want this I think abstract concept of safety. I think there's a healthy middle ground. Hmm. I think once we've researched it, we know what it is, then you can just give it away because all the information is out there. And if you don't educate yourself, that's your fault. Yeah. Which is why I'm trying to become educated on the topic of testosterone so I know exactly what to take. There's different doses. Doctor says, what? The doctor's saying how much to take. Yeah. And none. he's saying none. Well, <laughs> well I think that guy's sorry, a quack. Gonna... <laughs> I got a bad doctor. <laughs> I also had a fan send me an image, and he said, I've been on uh, steroids for the last three months. Yeah. And I went, holy shit, I got to get some fucking steroids. Because he bulked up? Bro. You have to work out, though. I know. I know of guys who've gone on steroids and not worked out, and they look like shit. Yeah. We, and their balls shrink. I get that. Um, you got to do more than 30 minutes on that bike. Yeah, I got to do like an hour. All right. My, my last problem is uh, objectively. Mm. You ever heard that one? I've heard that one. This movie's objectively bad. Oh, yeah. She's objectively hot. Quote, quote, unquote, objectively. There's an entire branch of uh, YouTube guys who... Uh, objectively? ...were preaching the idea of objective film criticism. I was like... I'm like, this isn't even like a debate. You guys are just actually wrong. You like, guys didn't... You don't know what that word means. You just made up like a word to be very, but it's like new, so... <laughs> you can keep saying it. Yeah. She's She's hot. She's very hot. Uh, okay. She's no, no, she's objectively, objectively hot. hot. Oh, okay. Subjectively bad. I think she's ugly. Well, you're objectively wrong. I think she's ugly. You're wrong. She's very hot. Mm. All right. Well, I don't care. No, no, no. She's objectively hot. What? You just added that part on. This is a good problem. I've thought about this problem a lot. Uh-huh. People don't know what the word objectively means. 
Uh, they also don't know what the word subjectively means. Mm -mm. No. Did they, they use that one? Well, here's the problem is that they think an objective opinion is automatically better than a subjective one. Mm. And it's not. A subjective opinion can be very valid. There's no objective opinions. Well, yeah, that's the, the other is, thing. Yeah. Well, you can strive, so you can strive towards objectivity. An objective opinion is a fact. It's not an opinion anymore. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, like, in, in the realm of criticism, when they say you should be an objective critic, yeah. it doesn't mean, one, like, true objectivity. It means that you should leave as many biases yeah. and preconceived things by Try the door as you can. Keep it fair. Keep it fair. TBF, as you just said. <laughs> We need Wait, one for you. you just said you need TBF. You Keep said that. No, you said oh, oh, TBF. Oh, oh. I guarantee it's not a crutch it. for me. <laughs> I don't say it all the time. You're saying like it with me now. I haven't said it in like whatever. I only say it when they said it super twice chat last episode. Tell me in the fucking chat. He said it, right? I don't know. We're going to punish you. That's possible. Anyway, you do TBF to a film. Mm -hmm. uh, but what these people don't understand. So there's, there's a group of guys who have said. Well, here's how you, you can determine if a film is objectively bad. Yeah. It's if the film has a plot hole. And then you go, well, first bad, of all, bad. how are you going to objectively define a plot hole? Missing information? Well, most movies have something like that. Second of all, a plot hole is not necessarily, does not necessarily impact the quality of a film. Mm, it makes it, it worse. But that's a subjective opinion. Okay. That's your subjective view of films. <laughs> yeah, Somebody else could say, I don't mind plot holes at all, and they don't make films any I don't worse like how me. in 24, he's just driving around L.A., like, in the same episode. <laughs> not like, stuck well, in, I can't watch stuck this in traffic shit. the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's stuff, but, again, these are all subjective opinions. The problem is that people seem to think, like, oh, a subjective opinion, that's the worst kind. And it's like, no, they're just... It's the only kind. It's the only kind. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not an objective they are, yeah. opinion. Yeah. Well, every time I see it, I want to rip my stomach out. This is objectively oh, just stop for something just to be fucking say for very. something to be objective. You need to be able to define it, right? So in your example of a beautiful woman, yeah, she's you, wicked hot. Just say she's that wicked hot. She's wicked no, hot. She's objectively hot. Okay, it's a wicked good. Book. Well, that would mean that there somewhere exist objective standards for what beauty are. And there are. No, there aren't. Yeah, there is. What are the objective standards for beauty? Uh, like the golden. Ra Wait, you're saying how beauty? Like the golden Human ratio. Beauty. Yeah, 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 the yeah. The golden yeah. ratio is all subjective. That is not like. No, 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 no. If you showed people, um, if you showed people Elephant Boy and then like a supermodel, fucking everybody would say, oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's not hot. everybody. That's, yeah, everybody. Pretty much everybody. Pretty much everybody. But well, unless not somebody's everybody. fucking around. No, somebody could objectively or subjectively say, yeah. I think Elephant Boy is more attractive and here's why. Uh, okay. Maybe they have a. Okay, let's put it this way. I see a, a picture of a beautiful woman naked with is her she fat uh, breasts hanging out. Maybe she's fat. It's I don't have a problem with that. No. Okay. And then on the other side. Okay, you're right. You're right. There's you're a right. furry girl and there's there's shit coming out of her nipples and she's in a fucking uh, swimming pool of jello and comes raining down from the. Yeah. She's eating Wonder Bread or whatever. Okay, the you're fuck. right. Subjective beauty. Subjectively, there's... I prefer the lady with the big we tits. We have rules that we are constructing together <laughs> right. as non as normal people to tell you what's beautiful. If I saw that's a beautiful the best lady, we can get. Oh, you know, just being naked, or you saw a beautiful lady, you know, pushing a shopping cart full of Wonder Bread while using a chainsaw to cut down a rainforest. This looks expensive. It's subjectively, I would say, yeah. the naked lady. Some yeah, people okay. subjectively right. would say. You're right. You're right. I did it myself. Mer Logic sent me a DM the other day. He wants free. Sh he wants shoes for Christmas. <laughs> Is that what he wants? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. It. He I, he was like, I forget what he was telling me, and uh, I am going to read DMs because I don't, I just want to know the general idea of the uh, thing he sent me. Uh. If you can help me find someone to come up with new ideas for commissions. So somehow Merlogic has ran out of ideas of things to beat Stop off to. Stop buying commissions. <laughs> you need to buy shoes. <laughs> he asked me to find... So he's asking me to find someone to help him come up with ideas for stuff to beat off to. Merlogic, I don't, I don't know. If anyone in the audience wants to give Merlogic some ideas of things he could commission, go... Yeah. yeah. How All about right. this? A castle made out of what? Is that what you want? You want like Wonder Bread ideas? 
a castle Wonder made out of Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread Israel. Wonder Bread Israel shooting. Yeah, a Wonder Bread Iron Dome shooting bags of Wonder Bread at Hamas. There you go. Okay, my problem is uh, objectively in quotes and mass shooters. Yes. And yours is uh, expecting Jews not to be Jews, I think you said. <laughs> Let the Jews be Jews, as the song goes. But that's your problem. No, the, the problem is... Ex- the problem is you said Jewish was expectations. How's that? <sighs> I mean, you you make your problem impossible to understand what the actual problem is. How about Jews supporting Isra- Isra- Israel? What's the su- problem? The problem is that people are upset at Jewish people for acting like Jewish people. That's what you said first, but then you keep <laughs> expecting... Well, because that's not going to fit. Expecting Jews fit? to act like Jews? Sure. N- not expecting... No, expect not, not expecting Jews to support not Israel. Not expecting what Jews is the problem? to support Israel. Okay, not expecting Jews. Not expecting unrealistic Jews. expectations for the Jews. I mean, then that's is that's that a good it? one. Yeah, that's a good. Unre- yeah, it's unrealistic to expect Jewish people to not unrealistic. Okay, say it again. Unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. Okay, for the Jews. Okay, that's a horribly named. It's it's the treatment all over again. It's not the treatment um, all over again. Look, I can go change the name of some of my problems. It would make it better. Doctors who won't give you drugs. Okay. Everybody will do some voicemails. Maybe now. somebody in the chat has a better idea for a name. Mm, okay. This is a peculiar one. Hey, Dick. Hey, fucking tubby tits. Um, wow. Thanks. I think I found the biggest problem in the universe. Clever. Okay. It's not women. Uh, it's yes, gay it is. guys lying okay. to ugly women. Oh. I just uh, saw this unattractive girl. Like, like I, I, if she tried, she could probably slim down and look halfway decent, but her face is busted, her teeth have fucking huge gaps in between them, and it's just, mm. just a mess. But this gay guy's talking to her, and she's down on herself, oh, and he's just like, yeah. girl, I don't know what you're talking about. You're fire. You're sexy. Yeah. Like, any man would be happy to have you. And I'm just sitting there like, that's just mean. That's rude and mean-spirited. Like, this poor girl has accepted that she's ugly and is a little sad about it, sure, but she's, you know, that's the first step of fucking grieving, you know? You get your sadness or whatever, you know? But do they believe gay guys and they tell? Of course they do. And now do. you fucking lie to yeah. her and say, oh, girl, you're sexy. No, she's not. And don't lie to her. That's fucking mean. Thank you, fuck you, bye. Well, I mean, it was pretty mean when we did that to Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> Society. We just said, Did hey, buy that shit? we're going to put you on the cover of magazines because you're such a beautiful woman now. That's funny, though, I guess. I don't think it was supposed to be funny. I think it was just hmm. a weird, confusing situation. You know, women will, hairdressers will mess up women's hair that they think is their same level of attractiveness. Where'd you hear that? Uh, they'll cut it. Uh, it's a study that I read. Uh, they'll cut their hair short, shorter the more that they think they are in competition with them sexually. If they're way out of their league, they leave their hair long either way. But if they're at the same level, <laughs> cut that shit all insanity. off. That's insanity. That's crazy. That's women for you. Would a barber ever do that to a man? No. No, never. Uh, all right. Here's another one. All right. I got a question. Okay. So imagine the hottest, most ideal woman you possibly can oh, that the- is living for it or has ever lived. Uh, now imagine Christ. her and your mother have mind swapped. Mm-hmm. If you had to choose one or the other, and yes, you have to answer and can't pussy out of it, would you rather have sex with her body, but with your mother's mind in this? that body, or would you rather have sex <laughs> with your mother's body, fucking but this woman's mind is a hot in dog your a sandwich. Body? All right. Good luck on the that answer. That is pretty easy. Yeah, the hot woman. I right? like a hot woman. <laughs> Who wants to fuck the body of their mom? Yeah, and you can what just be like, are... that's some. That's a, that question is for teenagers because their moms are like forty or fifty, not adult men whose moms are seventy-one years old. Right. You jackass. <laughs> I mean, there's like a situation. If I had to have sex with my mom's body, like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'd go. Yeah, you I don't can't. ask that question to guys. Like, oh, but there's a really hot girl's like brain in there. I'm like, yeah, I don't like with the other girl. I can at least like be like, just don't even think about the mom. I'd go, mom, Stop don't talking. say anything. Don't yeah, say anything. don't bring uh, up my childhood or anything. Just, just pretend you're long. that other girl. Yeah. Okay. And get it done. One more. That was an easy one. So guys, you got to get through the hey, voicemails faster. Biggest problem. I got two, and they're one and the same. 
popcorn and co-workers oversharing. I'm sitting there eating a bag of popcorn, minding my own fucking business at mm-hmm. work. And my co-worker, he fucking tells me, I still can't believe it. He says you can't eat popcorn. Because it makes him... <laughs> I have no fucking idea what this blood. guy's saying. It makes him shit blood? I'm so scared right now. Popcorn makes him shit blood? A popcorn in him. I'm fucked. I still ate the whole bag. Am I gonna shit blood? <laughs> what the fuck? Why does popcorn make you shit blood? I don't think that's a thing that happens to anyone. Well, that's just a normal guy walking around has, talking about shitting blood because he ate popcorn. If he has, like, severe, like, GERD, you know, like, gastro or whatever, like, the kernels could, like, fuck up your, oh. your inner lining, the fucking... Okay. I know there's some people who can't eat corn because it doesn't get digested, you know? It makes you shit blood? It's just like you have such weak stomach lining that, like, anything rough can just tear you up. I don't know if you actually shit blood, though. Well, if somebody's saying they're shitting blood, then I want to see some blood shit, not yeah. just, like, diarrhea. I don't know. Um. All right, well, here's a... Maybe this one's for Halloween. Here we go. Hey, boys. Have a uh, spooky voicemail for you. Uh-oh. Um... Way back when, when I was in college, I went to a Halloween party, and I thought I was going to be super clever with my costume. All I did was I uh, slapped on a pair of blue jeans and nothing else, Mm -hmm. and I walk into this party, and uh, my buddy asks, hey, what'd you come as? And I say, I came in my pants. I yelled it real loud. He cracked up, and but uh, everybody else in the room just stared at me, did not get it at all. Like, ten hot chicks just looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? So, uh, safe to say that, uh, fucking hate Halloween now. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Is it a pun costume? It's a pun costume. I saw a serial killer costume for ten bucks. I almost bought it for you, but... It was a big box of cereal on your head. Yeah. You got a knife. So what does that guy set up for his pun costume? Someone at, like, if they said, what are you? He says, I came, I came in, in my, in my pants. pants. I came in my pants. Because I came to the party in my pants. Man, that's... Also, why do you want to be shirtless at a party all night? Isn't it cold Probably because he night? has a nice body. Yeah. Abs or something. Good. Okay, everybody. Um, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> don't forget to vote on all the problems at Biggest Problem of the Show. Guys, biggest problem in Halloween bonus episode. A very spooky, spooky episode at patreon.com slash biggest problem and back dot by slash biggest problem. Uh, uh, we were going to watch a video, were we not? Oh, the Eric July thing? It's up to you, sir. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it. Let's do these super what do you, you fucking just teased everybody's dick? Uh, I just don't want to get into it with anybody anymore. It's too much fighting. Here, hold on. Let me zoom in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if there's enough super chats. Uh, which I hate one are you we? So much. Which one are we? We're uh, there, that there, one right one. there. Okay. All right. Cool for five. Vito has decided to censor my y- your usual chats. Oh, what's that about? To everyone except YouTube. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Are they censoring kill yourself now? Cool for two. It says YouTube's a big problem. They're pro Greenland. Well, I don't like the censorship. I wonder if it's some. Not killing I wonder if the way we set up the live chat. Did we screw up Super Chats? No, because everything else is coming in. I guess. We'll see if anybody else is being... Uh, uh, I always had that live chat thing checked. Yeah. I don't know. We changed some settings. Uh. Maloik for five. If I can't be thanked for not offing myself, <laughs> I'm just going to do it, and I'm not buying the shirt. Ah, uh, fuck you then. Good. Well, thank you. Rick for five. Love the show. Keep up the good work, Kings. Vito, since you have a lot of knowledge about film, do you know what Outer Space movie came out in 1992? You know a good Outer Space movie from 92? No? 2010, the year we met Contact? No. Gayer than that. (laughs) Wait, what is it? Is it GNs from Outer Space? Yes. Okay. Not 2010, the year we made Contact. No. That's not his joke. <laughs> I got there. John Riffs for five. I'm going to celebrate Halloween by watching Candyman, the spookiest movie mm, ever. It is more very ways spooky. than none. Peter Hansman for two. Vito crushed it on kick Cock. or keep. One verse seven easy. I did destroy. It was great there. Malort and Savior here. I can't even believe those people. They're awful. A lot of them. I mean, like, they're, I don't know. I don't watch any of their content. Destiny's fun. 
Yeah, Destiny's Destiny's great. the only guy who has a fucking personality. That's why they all orbit around him. Everybody always talks about Destiny uh, orbiters. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, because the rest of you have no fucking personality. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning and running and rubbing it in. Well, yeah, because I went on there and I, I literally, I went, this is too easy. Why am I wasting my time? Yeah. In any of these YouTube spaces, clearly uh -huh. I could be doing something more valuable, but I'll take the five. You had a lot bucks. of energy. I've never seen you with that much energy on this show. I don't normally get to talk it trash to seven people and completely <laughs> destroy them at every turn. Yeah, I did. Good. Me and Sky Williams, I think, became friends by the end. He had a good sense of humor because I was saying wild things. I said, and it sounds racist, but it's not. I said it's way worse to be an animal than a black person. It's way worse. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. And for some reason, he started arguing. He said, "Yeah, but you ever see like those dogs and like rich white families?" I'm like, I still would rather be a black guy. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so he's and arguing. He is a black guy. He was arguing against the black you experience. You tricked them into giving up their victimization, their victimhood, yeah. and they can't. Like even with an ant with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, Saber for two says I would love to see Ryan Long in the show. Uh, yeah, That'd be great. He's in New lord, York. We need another. We need more songs because I replayed one today. We need I, some. I need I to make it. some. Diamond G for five fifty five. Trick or treat, bub. All Wolverines the movie. Projects done poorly <laughs> for ten dollars. I sum will destroy most of the indie market for YouTube. Oh. Too many creators are now playing this Emperor's New Clothes thing with ISOM, and when people see it, they will not trust any YouTuber creators. I made that point. Someone said I was an idiot, but now more people are making that point, which is like, if you want indie comics to thrive, you can't go, and here's the best indie comic. And somebody reads it, and they go, that's the best one? It's dog shit. These must all suck. Yeah. I think that's, uh, yeah. Red for two. Happy Halloween, Eric Juneteenth, <laughs> with a skull and a camera and a hedgehog and a bunny Fast. and a bunny. And some clippers and a arm mm -hmm. and a frog, frog and a kicking the frog. Hmm. Tommy Salami for two. I hate ads enough to pay you to tell you about <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you. Jose M for two says it's adding addition. Oh, God. Uh, which is apparently is something is Eric July so funny. said. It's a shame that. <sighs> Please don't do this. <laughs> Comic Artist Pro Secrets is here for two. <gasps> And he says, Super Killer number one is a better pilot than JFK Jr. Ah, ah. that's true. JFK Jr. was probably a good... I think a lady just reached over and started fucking with his... With his cock? Yeah. Yeah, probably. All his instruments. And uh, who's the one who drove? Ted Kennedy, Kennedy was a great Ted driver. Kennedy. Again, it was always women. He's just <laughs> oh, driving, man. having That's fun. True. Lady reaches over, ooh, let me fuck with the wheel. And then they end up drowned. That's every Kennedy situation. <laughs> Jackie Kennedy in the back. He wouldn't have got shot in the back of the head if she wasn't nagging him. You know? Can you... <laughs> I can't figure this map out. We have to come just... to Dallas. I don't even like Dallas. He's like, oh, God, let me stand up. I'll look in there. I can't figure out how the glove box works. Mine doesn't work like this. Kiddo, let me see that. <laughs> it's always a feeling. Do we know what the last thing that she said to him was? Some nagging bullshit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Is she dead? Everybody's Jacqueline dead. Jacqueline Kennedy. Jacqueline Kennedy's dead at this point. I'm pretty sure. So we sure. don't. So we'll never know what the last nagging comment was. Mm. They should have got. They should have asked her. You wave too much on your left. You gotta <laughs> wave on the right. You wave All on right, the right, <laughs> you bitch. I'll, oh! I'll turn to the right now. <laughs> Back into the left. <laughs> Dumb username for five Australian blast core was a great N64 game. Level the city to ground zero to protect it from being destroyed by a nuke on a runaway truck. I played that cool. once. Cool. It's a very confusing game. Pineapple Man for five. Hi, Vito and Dick. Bag of Schmidt sent me three cassette tapes in the mail today for my birthday tomorrow. Wow. One of the cassettes is metal music. <laughs> That's great. Awesome, man. <laughs> Lemon Trashy for two says, I eat shit. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't have been the one to say that. Uh -huh. Dumb username uh -huh. for five says, Jet Force Gemini was awesome, too. The chick's boobs bounced. You could see up her skirt. N64, uh, baby, or maybe just Rareware was good. I, I never played Jet Force Gemini, but I've always heard it's not that good. Pop I mean, quiz for on the Nintendo 64, though. They're going to be worse More than goofy. triangles. They're looking yeah. terrible. Uh, I did. I have been playing. Uh, I did. Uh, I got a little emulator device, a little mm -hmm. handheld one. I, I was playing Star Fox last night. I love Star Fox so much. Mm. I don't uh, think I ever played that game. Star Fox 64? Yeah. Dude, the last battle against Star Wolf, if you're on the hard route, is like literally impossible. I had to reload my save like 20 times. 
More than that, Star Wolf is. Oof. Are you playing on the bike? You load up the bike, put it on there. No, I play GTA when I'm on the bike. Oh, uh, okay. On a the PlayStation. Easier. Pop quiz for twenty. Mystical Ninja starring Goman is a great NC4 game. Uh, I've, oh. I've heard that as well. I'll play that. Go to McGoatface for five. It's like I said, it has good games. Just clearly was not as good as the PlayStation. And a lot of the games that people remember as classics. Really, if you go back and play Goldeneye on N64 right now, you're gonna go. Eh, I don't want to play this that much longer. It's fine. It's still fun. Running around, karate chopping. Go to McGoat Face for five. I like my coffee, how I like my women. Black, bitter, and I prefer TBF. Nice try. Mm. The City Boy for five. Biggest problem reviews. Season seven of Rick and Morty. Love y'all. The mm. debut episode was terrible. You haven't watched any of it, right? I have no desire to watch it. Uh, it someone... sounds so... The voice sounds nothing like Rick. It's terrible. The first episode was so bad. Um, someone told me the second episode is good. But I ha am hearing people complain more about the Rick voice than the Morty voice. Yeah. Uh, that Treyarch Goss for two, which country was attacked after episode 109? Uh, All of them. What? Which country was attacked? Is that a 109? I know there's that, like, there's that meme about uh, the Jews getting kicked out of 109 countries, which is false. No. Oh. Well, there it was go. actually 138 uh, city-states. Or Sorry, uh, 1138. Well, yeah, they move around a lot. That's what Snopes said. I that's not me saying Good that. That's Snopes. Snopes. Snopes corrected it because there's 109 countries. What? That doesn't make sense, right? How is that even possible? <laughs> what if France is how many countries are on there well, twice? Well, historically, you know, maybe they got kicked out of Mesopotamia, and then again, yeah, well, there's not 109 know. places, but they're little like cities because it happened way back. Istanbul and Constantinople is it even twice tinier. if they get kicked out of them both times. Yes, you list exactly, both, but that's still only two. Nate rang for twenty big dollars on the board. November marks ten years I've been listening to Dick. Kurt Radkio used to force me to listen to Biggest Problem in the work truck when I first started as an engineer. I hated every <laughs> second of Maddox and stayed for Dick. I remember that guy. Thank you for years Kurt of laughs. Kurt Radkio's. I remember his Facebook comments. That's oh. funny. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, Nate. And for another five, he says, I actually found bonus episode receipts from 2015 in my email. <laughs> wow. Well, hopefully you're paying for the new bonus episodes Yeah. at biggestproblem.show. Buzzed Bigfoot for $1. Thank you. Thank you. Red for five. Vito, I was going to yell at you for saying Ocarina of Time. Didn't have a story, but then I remembered the moon falling was in Majora's Mask, not Ocarina. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a princess is kidnapped. Is that what happens? Yeah, wow. She's going to get raped. Can you believe it? <laughs> Does good. Ganondorf show up? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. John Riffs for five. Vito, you should do a rap music video and film it outside those anti-sniper wolf Twitter space guys' houses. You should do every ha every one of their houses. I was going to go to Jack Film's house and, like, record myself opening a box of Pokemon cards, but then I was you like... You lose your channel. Yeah, exactly. I literally was like, they'll just delete my channel. Yeah. It's not worth the risk. Uh, speaking of which, Mr. Girl has been banned from Patreon now, mm. so he's uh, been effectively depersoned from every part of the internet. Uh, you can find him on Medium, I think, is the last place you can find him. We live in a nightmare. Everyone's disappearing. Who do you vote for? I don't know. So actually, I'm pretty sure he voted for Biden. Hmm. Shut up. Funny that. Trump would not have stopped any of that. <laughs> Trump, the guy who was banned from Twitter? That's possible. Would not you stop think he would have passed some that? laws to make it illegal to ban people from Twitter? Well, the problem is you guys just have to stop voting Democrat, period. It's not one president. You just have to stop <laughs> voting for censors forever can you, for it to change. Can you find a guy who doesn't like say the election was stolen for no reason? <laughs> it was stolen. There's the problem that we have. Why? Why is that a problem? <laughs> okay, enjoy your medium then. Have fun. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> have fun on medium. Can voting you, for Biden. Can you, can you stop uh, nominating DeSantis right now? Who just uh, right now is making it illegal for college kids to Trump protest crushed him. Israel? Thank God, Trump yeah. destroyed him. Meatball Ron. That was it. Boom. Done. Oh, what happened to like a John McCain? That was a fun guy, right? One of the worst war hawks in. Hey. Who's burning in hell right now? That's what you want? John McCain? Yeah, at least he was like an upstanding guy. <laughs> he likes war. Who doesn't like war? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd that guy go crazy? Oh, man. Because of mental health. That's why. What American president. Because he didn't talk to enough women. All he needed one woman, one more hour of talking to a woman a week, and he wouldn't have shot all those people. How about Mitt, uh, Mitt Romney? Could have got a Mormon in there. Yeah, sure. It would have been nice. 
A nice normal guy. He would have loved the open internet. Right. Wild and crazy internet. You know what, you're right. Trump's the greatest president ever. Just get a million Trumps. Obviously, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Durant James for five says Eric's mods blocked me from his live streams for super chatting. If ISOM wins, Grandpa Knox will be disappointed, <laughs> lol. Keep doing the Lord's work, guys. The ministry. Michael winning for two. Vito, let's put ads anyway. Here are the 14 words. <laughs> Look, we're not going to get them on. The oh, you love the, I love the Jews. It didn't sound like it. I said I'm just criticizing people who have criticized Jews for being Jews. I know, but then you rephrase the problem so it sounds like it gets weirder and like more anti-Semitic in every, re in every rephrasal. The problem is when you see a Jew... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Horse McGee for five. Vito speed running the racist podcaster uh -huh. to conservative. It's not yeah. racist. I'm not yeah, a racist is. podcaster. Cheese for a thousand or cheese a thousand for five. Fun fact about the Ebony Alert it goes up to age 25 and does include men. Oh. Good luck taking a search party <laughs> into Inglewood. <laughs> a black guy's gone missing. Ebony Alert. Uh, Ebony Alert. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There he is working out in his front yard. Uh oh, there he is. <laughs> Look, crawling into uh, to his house. Honey, there's an ebony alert. The we'll have to go to the window. Let's go look for him. <laughs> let's go. Let's go I'll south. Keep my eyes peeled. Let's go south of the 110 and see if we can find him. All right. Uh, Chris Hyde for five. Biggest problem is the two minutes before every meeting that is completely unusable. Then the two minutes after it starts waiting for everyone. Yeah. Doodle Bob for 10. Interesting knowing July and Stein are owned by the same company. Why didn't Alex mention that he was acting as a human <laughs> shield for Eric during Vito's interview? Seems like a conflict of interest. Oh, is he being a human shield for he you? He made a video with Nerdronic talking about how he's been unfairly dragged into our... Uh, feud or whatever, and we're like, yeah, because Eric works with a guy who causes problems for public businesses, and then someone goes and to his warehouse, and he goes, oh, my stars! I can't believe it. Yeah. Long surreal. Bow. I'm just so surprised. I'm so continually surprised by everything that's happening. Longbow40 for five. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my good pal, Kimsel. I wish you the best in your search for a job. Stay hopeful. It's only been eight years. We're pulling for you, Kimsel. Utah-based Armenian for two. New uh, niggler bit. Turn off Jewish lights yeah. on Shabos. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. They'll, they'll flick them back that on. That would be quite they got a, a switch. Niggle. They got a new invention called the Switch. What does the Switch do specifically? So you hit it and then a different thing happens? Does like a marble roll Go down? Go watch it. I will watch it. Go watch it. It's approved by the Rabbi I think I've Rabbi seen it, Council but I think I watched it like America. 10 years ago or something. Watch so it again. It. It'll really elucidate everything for you. Pigeon Saw for 20. Inshallah, brother. Vito, bring in Jews as a problem. No, I did not bring in <laughs> Jews as a problem. Truly glorious day. Coup for five says, looks like the thank you for not killing yourself sensor was removed. Oh. YouTube still won't get a thank you for not killing yourself, though. He's currently using acronyms. But thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank, thank you, Coof. I wonder why it wasn't working. Marquis Dana for five after weeks without a house speaker. I felt so lucky and proud to wake up this morning to see their first act was pledging our loyalty and money. Oh, I know. I couldn't. Thank God we got thank right you straight to down our to, house speaker to brass for that. there. John Doe for five. Crimsel stole my money. Shun him. Crimsel. Steal more of his money. He's got money for super chats. He's got money to steal. Utah-based Armenian for five. If they want to keep Jews out of Palestine, they should stop saying free in front of it. <laughs> I get it. I got that one. Coup for five. Satire alert. If any of you guys decide to do a Minecraft in a bowling alley, just remember my words. Hmm. Satire alert. Mm -hmm. CG for five. I'm protesting for Israel. I'm only going to bank at Jewish banks, watch Jewish media, and support Jewish Mass shootings in Gaza. Oh, okay. that's nice of you. Purple okay. Monkey Dishwasher for five veto on PKA. Kyle told you to get TRT. Go to more plates, more dates. There you go. You already had the information What's this whole time. Twitter? <laughs> right, you got it right there. The, okay. It says right there how to do it. And next week you won't have done it. Is that a website? <laughs> Why no? No, it's a fucking magical land that you have to sing a song and play a flute to get to. Okay, but like, is there a doctor I can talk to and he can tell me what to buy? Because I don't know what to buy. There's a bunch of websites where you can buy testosterone. I mean, how how is all these like pre excuses? Go to the site. All your answers will be will be revealed to you. Well, like someone today sent me a coupon and like here you can get testosterone cheap, but then I look on the website and there's like fifty different testosterone products and I don't know which one to buy. Here, more plates, more dates. Uh, there's a lot of different, and there's like different like levels or something of testosterone. Look yeah. at this guy. You could be this guy. 
More plates, more dates. Male enhancement. Looking good. Oh, I'll just get Gorilla Mind respawn fuel. How bad could it be? <laughs> I'll get the look. See, this is already confusing. Subscribe for an ebook. <laughs> you, see, you said it was going to be easy. It is easy. Look, there you go. The most accurate testosterone. No, these are videos about testosterone. How much natural testosterone did you need? A lot. I don't know. <laughs> On the surface, testosterone. How many milligrams of testosterone do men's naturally produce? This is not helpful. Bro, your we your website fucking sucks. And yeah, you who super a... chatted it, fuck you too. <laughs> You're an idiot. Thank Look you. at this shit. Oh my god. There's like a million different things to click on. Am I supposed to get Gorilla Mind? It wants me to get Gorilla Mind. Kethel's had an easy bathtub yes. hormones. Yes. Kethel's made it easy. Berserker Purple for Monkey, you fucked up by not reviewing the site you recommended. Uh, I think I gotta ask some people. Berserker for two, stop drinking soda before bed. I don't drink soda before bed. How, when do you stop drinking soda? I don't remember. <laughs> All of your issues are your own. Delay. How long does soda stay in your body? <laughs> Ten hours. Does it? Caffeine? Yeah. yeah. Six, so let's go six on the low side. So when's the last time you're supposed to, what's the last? Ne you're supposed to never. Never have but any wake, caffeine. Wake up and you have drink some. caffeine. I stopped drinking at like three. I, did you, you just have coffee? We both just had coffee. For the show! Yeah, I'm staying up tonight! Alright. Spider Eternal for two. Get Vito on trend for three months if he doesn't sleep. Okay. Sarah Gardner for five. He he he. Dick has a small pee pee. That's pretty there funny. There you go. Fucking mass shooting. That's a good one. That's what happens Drunk every time. Drunken Atheist Studio for 10 says, No, you should do a Chicago show, but do it in the suburbs at Brower House in Lombard, like the WATP crossover show. Uh, that way it will only cost me $8 to get there. Think about me. God, the suburbs of Chicago. Fucking, I hate the suburbs in the Midwest. I hate the Midwest, and I hate the suburbs in the Midwest. Did you ever... You did a show in Vegas already, right? Vegas, yeah. Would you ever do another one in Vegas? No, it's too expensive. I just want to go to Vegas right now. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking about it. It's a fun show, but it's like renting the venue costs like five, six thousand dollars. There's nothing. Well, wh where, would you, where did you get a venue? Was it on near the strip or something? Yeah, it was on the strip. We'll get a venue off the strip. No. Okay. Not be able to take an, take an Uber over there. Uh, let's see. Fire Chicken 217 for five. You know, have you tried pretending you have a real job and just waking up like a normal person? Mm. This is why I don't have a real job. Hmm. When I had a real job, I would just like constantly show up late and be how, miserable. At work? Yeah. How late? Like an hour, two hours, or I would just call in sick. <laughs> People don't understand. So the reason I live the way I do is because you have to. I have to. Yeah. People are like, why doesn't your YouTube channel update regularly? I'm like, because my life, I can't manage it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you can at least stop doing a couple basic things. I've, uh, Caffeine look, afternoon. Zero, zero calorie Gatorade right there. Just, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. Joe Ray for 10. Vito, please bike an hour a day. Give me more super chats. I'll buy a bike. Summer Swan, Winter Raven for Wait, five. Wait, you don't have a bike? I don't have a bike. What was all that? I bike a half hour a day. I have an exercise bike. Oh, that's what he meant. Okay. I want like a real bike, though. Are you going to use it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Is the problem. You it are. Cool you live I... in an area with a ton of trails. A ton. Oh, so I should just bike a trail. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do like the L.A. River. I like biking. I used to bike everywhere. Yeah, you got to start that shit up again. I should. It used to be great. I used to bike every day through uh, Boston Common to get to work, and like this perfect little bike commute. That was the most two beautiful. hours late. Yeah, it was the perfect little. It was a perfect little slice of life. I remember thinking, never gonna have a commute this nice. Yeah, ever again. That's true. Bike through the park, meet all the people. Hmm. You know what bike, happened? Bike through the racist part of town a little bit. Hmm. What happened? Yeah, that job didn't pay that good. No. Then I moved to L.A. and everything has gone downhill from there. Wow. Uh, Summer Swan Winter Raven says, I'm also on a 25 hour cycle like Vito and have fatty liver, just confirming that the 25 hour cycle is a real thing. Well, yeah, I, I mean, don't... I believe that your sleep's fucked up. I don't believe that your uh, circadian rhythm is an alien. Some people have a 23 hour. You know, do you know that if you do, uh, you know, that thing where they like 
sleep study, but they lock you in a room and they're like, you can't leave here for like 30 days. Yeah. We're going to study your sleep cycles. Prison? No, just like an actual sleep study where they go, okay. we just want to see naturally what time you wake up and go to bed. Yeah. Everybody ends up on a 23 hour schedule. Uh, Every single person. I would have to see the work of that. Can, I've believed too many boomer studies. <laughs> Stanford prison experiment, false. The Milligram experiment, false. How, how do you falsify people sleeping in a room for 30 days? You just make it up. Yeah. Or you make them sleep at weird times. <laughs> you play a little bell to wake them up. You just lie to have a cool study. <laughs> I don't believe it. Beard hair flosser for 10. Keep these laughs coming, boys. You both are getting me through my work days. Also, Vito, talk a little <laughs> bit more about your writing partner tweet. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it probably on the next show and bring it in as a problem, but... <laughs> Do you get a lot of applicants? Oh, I got a lot of people who really go, oh, a writing partner, huh? Well, I, I I would love to be a writing partner. And I go, oh, cool, what'd you write? And they go, well, I've never written anything before. And I go, oh. What'd, well, you, what'd you expect? I That was not me. At, I said, so on Twitter I said, yeah. I need a writing partner as like a general... This is a thing that I, this is an idea that has come to me. I thought you were um, proposition. I, was I not, thought you people you were asking for applicants. Yeah, no, I was not soliciting. I was just like, you know what I've realized is that I, I'm the kind of person who I like writing, but I would like to have someone who like understands what I'm. Just so you know, like Miller and Lord, great writing team. Mm. You know, Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon, that whole thing fell apart. But I think it's just good. I think all writers have blind spots. Right. Right. And it's good to have someone else to go, here's the problems I identify with that. And then I go, oh, cool. You know, well, we can fix that. And then they have their own ideas to bring into the mix. Talking about writing. Talking about writing. Yeah. Well, it's helpful. A lot of writers love that. Yeah. I don't know how facetious you're being, but. 100%. <laughs> what do you mean? You talk about your writing, I'm sure. No. When you did your book, you just put it out. You didn't do anything. You had an editor, at least. Yeah, I didn't talk. He edited it, and I said, yeah, fine. Okay. I don't like talking about stuff. It's like... So what you're telling me is, uh, Vito, stop asking me for uh, notes and... <laughs> no, feedback. I'll give notes. Yeah. I mean, I'll explain and I'm them. And asking questions about the... So it's nothing... I'll explain them. Has my asking questions about the notes been awful? I'm just trying to get no, some no, clarification. No, no, it's fine. Okay. I understand that... I mean, I, I know a lot of people that... Uh, enjoy having writing writing partners. Yeah, I'm just g goofing. Up. I'm just being funny, you know. Okay, gentlemen, uh. sausage. Uh, so yeah, I don't want any of you people listening to this to be my writing partner. I want like somebody. <laughs> 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 this well, why'd not, you put it out? This was not like your opportunity. Like now's my time to shine. It was just kind of like me in my head being like, I hope at some point I meet someone who is like Does that have funny. To be a girl? Doesn't have to be a girl. But you would prefer to be a girl? So I would like someone who has experience writing. First of all, you need I want experience like writing and publishing things. Okay. Okay. And and someone who's funny. It needs to be like another comedy writer. How funny? Funnier than you or not as funny as you? Different funny. I um, want someone who like balances me out. Okay. I think my sense of humor, and yeah. you've seen this, is very fam <laughs> I'm just family guy. I like family guy. I grew up watching that's the biggest Family compliment guy I've ever heard someone give themselves. Clone high. Well, no, it's a problem because it's all antiquated humor now. You know what I I like cutaway Family gags. Guy is? Yeah. Well, I like stu like the Clone High season one is still one of the funniest things I've ever watched. Yeah. And now all the Zoomers are like, yeah, but you you know you didn't talk about Fortnite or I don't know you didn't talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. I is probably, that a comedy? I don't know what that Five Nights at Freddy's Five is. Five Nights at Freddy's is a, a horror game about like a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant that's haunted. No. no. Okay. It's about a haunted Chuck E. Cheese, and it's like not really supposed to be funny, but like the characters are funny looking. Mm. Is it like for babies? No, it's for like- Kids? It's for like 15-year-olds. Mm. That's the target like market. Polly Shore style comedy? Uh, Well- the I don't think the games are funny. I think the games are just kind of oh, like a game. So it is a game. It's a video okay. game, All right. and you have to monitor the uh, the closed camera system. So you have to keep swapping it's around. Fine. You're like, oh, where'd the characters go? Oh, the, uh, the bear is not where he's supposed to be. Oh, he's down this hallway. Guy. You have to make sure they don't sneak up on you and spook you. So it's yeah. goofy. It's a little goofy. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So again, no one in our audience do not apply. <laughs> then why'd you put it up? Writing, because I'm just saying, you know, Twitter is for airing out my thoughts. 
Look, if you're an accomplished writer of like comics and comedy and whatever else, like yeah. I'm not gonna say no. If you came to me and you go, hey, here's my my TV script that got you know produced or whatever else, I yeah. go, oh, well, hey man, let's talk about writing, okay? But instead, I'm getting all these kids and they go, hey, uh, you know, I just graduated high school and uh, I've always wanted to write stuff, and I'm like, that's great, that's cool, man. Kids in high school are hitting you up. I don't think that's a good. No, it's not. Don't, don't send me messages no? to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> said graduated high school, so I'm gonna hope they're like 18, 19. They could be, um, you know. Or you guys, wanted like an accomplished writer to hit you up and say, not not like super accomplished, but like someone who has a history of doing stuff. Okay. Not like, well, now's my time to. Sh I can't help you. I'm the one who needs help. <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna get you anything. What does somebody else get out of this relationship? I think we would collaborate. Okay. I need someone who, yeah, is, you know, kind of like equally a loser to myself. So, oh. and I have some people in mind, and uh, we'll see. Like who? I'm not going to say. Oh, come on. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Let's just say I've sent the super killer script to some people, and, you know, I and hope, they, I hope they're they on like your list it. of collaborators? Yeah, guys who I think are funny. And okay. Maybe, maybe something. Is Josh happen. Denny on the list? I haven't sent it to Josh yet, actually. I have to uh, oh. send him a message. Okay. I was thinking about uh, getting Chrissy Mare to read it. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I think I would have to pay her though. Yeah, you should. I was gonna. I was gonna say, hey, do you want to read it? And then I like came up with a number, and I'm like, she's just gonna say no. It's what was the number? Like fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Uh, um, I don't want to. It's yeah, not it's, very much money. It's but... not very much money. Then you but I can't spend all my. It. I can't spend all my money getting people to read it. I'm gonna go fucking bankrupt. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Let's all see. Right. Gentleman Sausage Fry. If there's any women who want to read it. <laughs> You're first. I would, yeah, well, I, it would be good to have a woman read it. Gentleman Sausage for Five. People who misuse objectively are ontologically bad, objectively speaking. Sure. Good boy for five. You know, there are so many legal online TRT services you could use. Well, I tried to use one of them. Or there's in-person med spas that bear it, basically guarantee tests if you pay them. Well, that's what I, I thought I found one of the ones. It's like, yeah, we'll just give it to you. But for some reason, they're yanking me around. Ride yeah. Dog for five. F YouTube ads. I will go to Greenland before I disable my ad blocker on YouTube. Fantastic. Okay. There we go. Uh, well, good luck on your writing partner. Thank I'm you. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, 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 what are you writing right now? Ah, a bunch of crap. Why are you so dismissive? People are, you know, people are interested in your creative endeavors. Well, that's nice. You starve your, you starve your audience for <laughs> good. <laughs> you don't think you owe them something like a little? Behind no, the I don't scenes? know anyone's shit. Uh, Let's see, this is the this is the uh, parasocial problem. Is it's like how much of yourself can you give? None. Exactly. Well, that's your stance. Two hours, four hours a week. That's it. <laughs> uh, where the fuck is this? Uh, right oh, there. here it is. Okay. Jay Thompson for two. You see Hassan get embarrassed on Pierce Morgan. I saw the thumbnails, but I didn't know if it was one of those things where it's like, Hassan gets absolutely destroyed, he and it's a joke. fucking retarded. Really? Yeah. I don't know a lot about He looked like Hassan. a child. All I know about Hassan is that he is controversial and maybe stupidly naive on the whole Israel-Palestine thing. Um, it's interesting that Pierce Morgan brings on all these YouTube guys. It's actually smart that he does it. It probably gets him a bunch of like views. Yeah, he Hassan w looked probably the worst I've ever seen anybody look on anything. Really, he looked totally clueless. He was talking about nonsense. Uh, he looked worse than Eric July. How long was the segment? They don't normally. I don't do know, a like ten segment. minutes. Okay, it was just a little interview. I'll watch that. Again, I didn't know if it was one of those things like, Ben Shapiro destroys this guy, and I'm like, well, did that actually happen, or is it just, like, stupid? He just looked so dumb. I, he also was fighting with his cousin, Kenk. Kenk came on. Or Kunk, yeah. And uh, they were fighting. I heard that was good. Drunken Atheist Studio for five says, I got back on Ritalin for the first time since childhood and realized I felt miserable for the past 25 years for no reason. Mm. Yeah. It's, uh, we have helpful stuff to just make you do stuff. Liquor. Claptrap to Destroyer for 10 says money. Thank you. Lloyd Clap Lewin trap. is here for 15 Australian. I wouldn't play an ISOM game, but objectively I'd play the hell out of an Eric July <laughs> game. Eric running around a warehouse being chased by men dressed as bunnies. <laughs> with okay. So this is actually a good idea. Dressed as bunnies with giant <sighs> yeah. opathy and scissors. 
Somebody make us a Pac-Man game where, like, you have 30 seconds of having to, like, organize your crates and the lights turn off and a yeah. bunch of, like, bunnies chase you around. You have to get away from them until it's morning again. He's collecting comics off the ground. Yeah. You got to get them <laughs> charity <laughs> comics. I got to get all these charity <laughs> comics to ship. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden the lights come down and the bunnies and the turtles and the man with the scissors <laughs> come. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe Cool for five. Boogie almost was the fat white gem, and Harley Mornstein was almost the blue gem. Mm. But turned out Richard and him get along. Get this man on the show. Yeah, Harley's cool. I thought Rich from Review Tech USA was about to become a gem, but he <laughs> redeemed, him, redeemed himself. He's just a goofball. I want Shadowversity's gem. Oh, that guy's a weirdo, He's man. He's a weirdo. His AI sucks. It's so bad, and he's, like, so obsessed with it. Yeah, he's not any good at it. Did you see my AI thumbnail of Brie Larson holding a bomb? Oh, yeah. It took two seconds to make that. Yeah. And it's hilarious. <laughs> well, you didn't have to Photoshop your wife's head no, on No, and I didn't have to put my reason. wife's head on it for any reason. <laughs> Stone Cold Flea for five. Vito, stop drinking diet soda or juice cocktail and think it's... All right, you know what? Yeah. Shut up. I'm going to drink anything that doesn't have calories, and I'm going to stop listening to... Well, actually, the thing is about preservatives. President asks, Vito, please give you your best weight loss advice. Uh, the edge of a building is always just five minutes away. Chop your head off. Chop your fucking head off. a lot of weight. Stone Cold Flea for two says, did you ever play Trap Gunner on the PS1? I actually bought a copy of that during COVID when video game prices were soaring, and it felt like if you didn't buy it, you were never going to be able to buy it, which was wrong. Now the prices are back down. But I do have oh, a copy yeah. of Trap Gunner. I have not played it. Nitro for 10 puts a picture of a menorah. <laughs> Don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I can just say it's next to a picture of a... Explosive device. Because <laughs> you're saying Israel is the bomb. Israel oh, man, is the bomb. Don't be crazy. Glowormization. Vito, what is the best criticism you've gotten of Super Killer? Well, I'll tell you Dick's note that I tried to deliver on, which is that <laughs> the female character needs to make a choice. So then I had her make a choice, and now it's too realistic. Is that <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good piece of criticism? There yeah. was there was something else that was good though. Um you uh, want to hear Eric's? Yeah, no, it's too. Oh, just fuck, fucking play eight. it. Do you have to get to your thing? You got to go to a thing, huh? Uh, let's see. We can play it on the next uh, episode. I know, but he'll have said more retarded shit then. I know. Just play the one. This one clip. All right, let me load it. Let me load it. There was some other good piece of criticism. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. I, it's it's uh, it's just total yeah, gibberish. It Here is uh, Eric July on this fucking goofball. Oh, Tony show. from Act the Movies told me some of my jokes were hack, and then I changed the jokes, and then I think Dick said the jokes I replaced them with are also hack. So yeah. I keep changing things to fix things, and then probably making it worse. I don't think the I don't think the replacement. I told you why. Joke. I told you why those jokes don't work. Those musical jokes are good. That's a good joke. Uh, I don't remember the musical one. Because it actually sets up what he does in the universe, that he has to, like, study the different heroes. So it is it is about the character. You're learning about what the character does before a mission. Hey, man, if the joke works, keep it. It's a stupid joke, but a lot of jokes are stupid. But it's a joke that serves a purpose, at least. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember which one. Some jokes serve a purpose. That's the other thing. So okay, it's, like, hard to... Yeah. Here it is. What show is this? I don't know. He keeps the going watcher. to these, these channels with like guys who have like a thousand followers, and I'm like he's trying to milk their fans for cash. He's building a little grassroots thing. I know what he's doing. I get it. Because uh, now these guys are going to be fiercely loyal. Where they go, that big YouTube guy came on my channel. He can do no wrong. You guys should go buy his shitty comic. I you, don't care about your money or your respect. This is exactly <laughs> the same thing that Tommy Tallarico used to do. Yeah, he went on every podcast, even if he only had like a fo 500 followers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how he built this fucking weird cult, man. Yeah, another a con artist. You like that Tommy Tallarico video? Did you watch the whole thing? It's like four I hours, like half of it. I'm like, all right, I'm burnt out on. Uh, it's a good video though. It's pretty interesting. He really fucked up. A, he fucked up a lot of stuff. It's it seems impossible to fuck up. Yeah, he had like 20 million dollars. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. And I'm going to open it up and we'll see what other, some of the folks who are on the live chat have. But uh, what's the best? Uh oh, that's always a mistake. Let's go to the live chat <laughs> Let's for Eric. The live chat. I don't know Super who this chats. dude is, but here's Eric July. This is you've gotten from ISM one, and how did you? Sorry, apply I interrupted. It? I'm going to open it up and we'll see what other, some of the folks who are on the live chat have. But uh, what's the best criticism you've gotten from ISM one, and how did you apply it, if, if any, to you know your ongoing work? 
Yeah, uh, I think the one that uh, got me, and I will say, I will credit Chuck for this. Um, you know, there are certain things, and Chuck Dixon, that is. Uh, and, and the first bit I got of this is actually coming out of, out of another story and then applying that to kind of uh, to ISOM 1. But, Wait. you know, the way he approaches storytelling is like, yeah, you can have this layout and, you know, draft or whatever, you know, you kind of worry that you want to take the story. What? But even if it's such a small, rather, even if it seems kind of insignificant thing um, that that needs to be either, number one, expanded on or completely swapped out, there's no, like, sacrifice there. You don't just kind of run with it. It's like, hey, OK, here's this thing here. I can't make this make sense. <laughs> okay. Quick check. So he's not in. answering this question. What do you think he's trying to say the criticism was? Clearly he got criticism from Chuck Dixon and, and the criticism was a very gentle way of saying it's does none of this makes sense. No, he, Chuck Dixon said Eric July is a good writer. <laughs> yes. And then he said, <laughs> but unfortunately, your writing is so good, none of it makes sense on right. this page. What do you think he's trying to say? I believe what he's trying to say is that you shouldn't be too precious about any individual idea or panel and be ready to throw it out if need be. Maybe. Okay, let's see. There's no, like, sacrifice there. and You don't just kind of run with it. It's like, hey, okay, here's this thing here. I can't make this make sense. Let's try to make it make sense, and maybe we just change out. It could be something as minor as a, a simple motivation for, for a particular character uh, and I'm not saying minor, like motivations minor. I'm saying like a, a, a minor, like, OK, this character, you could get to the, that end game. Right. Of what this this is, how the characters acting out on that motivation. Right. But it is very. So the story. Yeah. You could get to the story. Well, he's saying you've written motivations for your characters and those motivations are based on an endpoint you want the characters to arrive at. But they don't make sense in and of themselves. Okay. I so, can't. like, I saw him punches a guy in the face, and that's based on a motivation you've set up for him where he hates people's faces. Where he wants to beat that guy up. Right. Okay. So what is he saying about that motive? That, you that it doesn't exist, I think. Or that you could come up with a different reason why he wants to punch the guy and not be beholden Maybe. to previous motivations that you've established in your head for the character? I guess. I don't know. It's total really nonsense. Don't, yeah, it's a lot of, not, uh, there's a lot of words here. Okay, here's more. Very important Word. on that middle part and like how they're getting there, that vehicle, uh, if you will. So if there was one thing that I would have changed, uh, probably, uh, not necessarily changed, but I probably would have added to the page count. Isom 2 was 112 pages. Isom 1, it easily could have been that. It was that conflict that happened uh, between Alpha Core uh, and, and, and Yaira. Uh, I, what, I've, what I would have done was probably added a couple of more pages to have that, yeah, we're picking up where we left off at some point with that with that story. But I think I saw one could have used just a tad bit more more perspective for those characters, especially with with them being the next book. It is that we're we're kind of coming out with what I would have done if changed, uh, if any, was you had that that conflict <laughs> that they had with Yaira. I would have spelled yeah. that out maybe a little bit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bro, how does he use so many words? And I'm like, yeah, this is so confusing. Yeah, okay, now okay, all right. Oh, did you know the uh, Shaft actor died tragically more, this uh, week? with with he her did? getting knocked yep. down the block? Oh, right? That over. way, it's more easily explained uh, because she runs in the ice um, because of that. Uh, so I would have probably shown that. I would have probably shown that if I added pages. Uh, but I also would have had to, I would have loved to have some, uh, another kind of interaction there. Uh, when Brian tells her, hey, you know, you, you were told not to return. So it, it's more adding addition to that. <laughs> so I could kind of give perspective. It doesn't need much. It doesn't, I wouldn't have had need, need like five, addition. 10 pages. Even a couple, uh, even I think, would have given lines. a little bit more perspective. So you know what anyone is doing. Industry, is that you're trying, you don't want to have fluff. Right. So that was one of the things that I was always afraid of. I was like, hey, with the first book, like, okay, 
I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Uh, I, I need to get kind of get kind of to the point. So it's that balance of you don't want to give too much, but you also don't want to give uh, too little. So if there was anything, I don't want to say change. I don't necessarily regret it. And yeah, we can pick up where we perfect. where we left off. Let's, right. But Let's not just get... to give more perspective on that conflict between the Look Alpha Corps and bastard. the Ira, definitely setting up the next books. I would have would have added just a couple of more pages uh, there for sure. <laughs> Okay. Okay, stop. 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 So there's an actual correct right before the payoff. There's a correct answer to that question. Yeah. The answer is I wish I had left in the page where <laughs> I saw him actually punch his Santuan after jumping towards him. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Instead of having them just land next to each other. I wish I'd have made the motivations more clear and their previous uh history well, together. I wish I would have made that clear. Could've he had that giant done. long thing to basically say. I think there could have been more lead up to the fight between Yaira and Alpha Core. But more. I, there should have been more. That was my big problem. I have no idea how that connects to him saying the character motivations and the logical endpoint. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't think any of that connect. I feel. I feel like he's changed what he was talking about halfway through it. You think? And and tried to see if anyone would notice. Um, <laughs> you think Chuck said that in six minutes or whatever? I think it was? Chuck probably Chuck just Dixon? said. Yeah, I'm writing the Alpha Core book, and I don't know anything about these motherfuckers because you didn't put it in the last book. By the cops? And their motivations are completely uh, mystifying to me. Yeah. And Eric took that as, well, I wouldn't change the book. You know, there's nothing wrong with the book. But yeah. if I wanted to, and you don't want too much, and you can't I have too- <laughs> added some additions. Yeah. Oh, there you go. David Gomez for two. Ashley Babbitt noises. Candace Marie for 20. Star Fox 64. Love the multiplayer. Map skipping with those little planes doing the reverse clip on the corners. Taking everyone off. Slippy was the goat. Fuck you, Vito, for actually making me like something about you. Well, I'm sorry, but Star Fox 64 is probably the best N64 game. Yeah. I love it. Verico for 279 Canadian. War is kind of like paintball. Connor Brinson for five uh, European dollars. Dick, don't be harsh. Crash Team Racing is incredible. It's got that girl with big tits, but, you know, I don't know. It's just a Mario Kart ripoff. Helios for two says a penis. Thank you. LP Dirty T for five. Biggest problem is IDF war propaganda using Western movie media. Makes me want a Palestine, Israel, Harry Potter cut. You're a <laughs> Jew, Jew, Harry. I've seen that joke on Twitter. Hater headquarters for five. Rip a strongest hater here. Great show, gents. Thank you. Love hater. your work, hater. You're doing good work. Cerebral friction for two. Merrick Health is more plates, more dares clinic. Hmm. Yeah, Merrick Health is what people dares. Uh, people want me to go to Merrick Health, so I'll try that. Okay. Jose M for two. Vito's wallow. Okay, it's something about me eating cum. Yeah. I come <laughs> buckets for two. Don't forget to jihad women. Yep. Former artist for two. Vito, if you don't eat, you'll lose weight. Fascinating. Eric Wong for two. Half life of caffeine in your system is six hours. Yeah. Oh shit. Tylenol pain relief for What'd five. What do you think it was? I don't know. Like four hours total. Two, hours, three hours. Okay. Whatever. Hey guys, big fan of the show. Going to be in LA for a week starting tomorrow, and I've never been. What should I do? Also, what's the intro song? The intro song is a AI thing, which I want to put on the website. You I don't should, know where it is. You I should gotta find it. You should give me admin. Did you get my thing where I'm like, give me admin privileges so I can yeah, add pages? Yeah, I'll get right on it. Because then I can add the songs and the other shit. Yeah. Wait, what should he do in LA? Go to the see a Dodger game. Go to the observatory. <laughs> You got to go to the observatory. That's like go the to Hollywood, it's like Hollywood a nice Boulevard. View. You'll love it. Don't Walk go to around, Hollywood Boulevard. See all the stars He's on the ground. With you. That's not it. Love it. Go to some cool restaurants. There's some cool restaurants. David Gomez for five. Biggest problem is people who point out humans are the only ones who drink milk after infancy. Mm. Like they were not the only species flying in tubes at 10,000 feet. It's been mm. good restaurants. I did go to Tam O'Shanter for the first time. I saw that. It was yeah. a big steak yeah, at I, noon. I broke my diet for that one. <laughs> I wanted to eat a whole cow. When's your next weigh in? I think it's next week. Okay. It's probably this week. Killer of Linos for five. Pli- don't blindly agree with Vito. They studied people's brains for different cultures under MRI, showing them different faces. There's universal beauty. That's not objective. Yeah, but beauty is not a universal concept. It's right. Just, if you define it in math, it's the math that's universal. Thank you. If you show it to a child or an old man, they'll have a different. No, they will still think the same thing's beautiful, but that doesn't mean it's real. Geeks for five. Maybe my son, my little baby boy Vito, will learn how to say my name. <laughs> geeks? It looks like geeks. Yeah. Icon <laughs> buckets for two. Fine, Vito. All right with you. Stop begging. All right, my there new. There you are. You can write with Icon partner. buckets. Icon buckets. Super you can write killer. With Eric by Vito July. and Icon buckets. 
Uh, okay. Do you want an uh, editor credit on that? Well, not an editor credit. What do I give you a credit? Special thanks? Don't give me. Yeah, special thanks. I'll fine. put you in special thanks. Uh, let's see. All right, Beard Hair Philosopher 2. Dick likes my editing, so there. Do I? Joe Cool. Well, I don't know. Is that your editor? No. Joe Cool for five. There's a clinic with more plates, more dates. So try the other PKI guys to get you in veto. Mark Durka, Woody's Gamer Tag, the FPS show. Okay, I got to okay. send something to one of those guys. Peter Smith for five. Three weeks with a new soundboard. We'll make, will you please make a what it is I suck uh, the Kulk for e Eric July trying to get this past the super chat filter. Did he say that? I suck Cox? I think you're going to have to make it Trick happen. him into do it? Okay. You're going to have to go through a bunch of different clips. Somebody do that for me. I'm that would be a good one. It. Stinky Poopy Face for five. Please take this $5 for my 67 work hour work week. That I just clocked out from. Someone please help me. Thank you. Killer we'll happily Vlano take that yeah, off I'll take hands. That. Killer Vlano's for two. Vito's liver doesn't make enough SHBG to use the test. Hmm. I don't know. Manny Muskets for five. Hey, Manny. Uh, criticism translation. <laughs> yes, you exactly. You have a bunch of stuff that happens for no reason. You have a bunch of stuff that happens for no reason here, Eric. What, what do you want me to <laughs> <laughs> That is what's happening. Jay Thompson for uh, five. Hassan and Eric July are the same. They give long, confusing answers with unnecessarily big words. I had the fact that they don't have a bit real he answer. He really it sounded horrible. You got to add addition. Or what did he say? Add additions. <laughs> add, add additions to this. Additive additions. Jose M for five. Biggest problem new segment. Incoherent rambling phonics <laughs> featuring Eric July. That no. is what it is. That is what it, it is. What it is. What it is. What it is. It is what it is. All right. That's it. Thank you. What a great you, show, guys. Real I quick. Show our, just this, show our top. Time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> biggest problem. That show. Vote on all the problems. Patreon.com slash biggest problem. Back.by slash biggest problem. Thanks for coming by. And have yourself a very spooky Halloween. Halloween Proud bonus episode now Ge available. Geeks, why would that be? That's not a difficult. Yeah, name. what did I say it was before? G33X. Oh, Hi, geeks. Fine. Thanks for the five. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.